Listen, I don't want to talk about the Gary Kasparov stuff again. Because I am not a 2800 ELO Andy. I'm not a super GM. But I did get served some more tweets about it today on the algorithm. And I saw some people saying stuff like, if you just copy every move that Gary Kasparov does, and then like it should only take you 50 to 100 games or something like that. And I'm like, you don't... There's a danger to being too smart to know how dumb you are. We've talked about it so many times in the Punnett Square of like smartness and dumbness, and it changes for every domain. They might be an incredible physicist, but just not that good at chess. Sean is okay. The Sean tweet, I disagree with it, but they, they stated their case. Some of the people in the replies that are like, I don't see why people would say it would take like a decade. I think it would only take like 100 games. I'm like, you know there's people that are already good at chess that would lose 100 games straight to Gary Kasparov. Like, if you're 2,300 and Gary Kasparov is like, he's over 2,800, he's probably going to beat you 100 times in a row or not lose to you at least 100 times in a row. He's going to draw with you occasionally. It's not the same game, though. But it's not the same game. Because after you... It's probably going to take you eight moves to come up with the ideal response to whatever Gary Kasparov played. And then you finally do it. And then he does another move. And it's going to take you like eight games to come up with the best. But then it gets like fractally more complicated as time goes on. Because you might think like, oh, he took my knight on this move. I'm not going to make that move instead. You simply like you, you might have got yourself into an inferior position like four moves ago. So now it takes you 10 years just to realize that the move you've been focusing on is not even the move where you started to slip down the mountain, bro. You started to slip down the mountain on move seven and now you're on move 11. Like, oh, I'll just stop him from checkmating me and then I'll like, you know, Jeet couldn't do him. I'm just saying. I'm, I think, me personally, I think people are underestimating the difficulty for, for an average chess player. That's my opinion. You're smart, dumb smart. Honestly, that's where I aspire to be. Being an insane genius doesn't really seem like that rewarding. And I've been dumb smart, which is where you're, you think you're smart because you got like good grades in middle school, but that has led you to actually like have blind spots that have made you dumb. But now I like to think that I'm smart, dumb smart, which is like I say the smartest things that I can think of. And then I just say, but I'm pretty dumb afterwards. And then people plus to it. Hey, Lead Belly Luffy, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. I kind of look at intelligence, it's a bit like humor. Like sometimes people are like, NL, you're really funny. And I'm like, no disrespect, I, that's very nice to hear. But do you not realize that actually like the funniest person you will ever meet is like a 38-year-old HVAC technician that you meet at a party one time and he's got like 11 DUIs? Like, he's, that, that's the funniest person on the planet. A friend of your friend that you've never met before, but he, like, texts you and says, hey, is it okay if I bring somebody? And then you're like, sure, why not? And then he brings him. That's going to be the funniest motherfucker you ever meet in your entire life. It's not going to be me. It's not going to be a stand-up comedian. It's going to be some... 43 year old mover or something like that who has no concept of what the internet is and every line is just gonna be blowing up bro that's just you from the timeline you had a real job in now nah, me me in the timeline where the world doesn't end in 2012 I'm definitely like a mid-level white-collar office worker, not rocking the boat 
to the extent that I could like get a promotion, but stable in like a, a mediocre career with like limited upside potential. Which is why I'm not willing to go back and fix the timeline. I like it better this way. Still Pelotoning? No, I'd probably be on an Amazon Basics if I had to guess, but no, there's nothing wrong with that. Pretty sure comics are good at being funny on command, which is why people pay them to do it. Mm, I think I, I take issue with that. Because really, like, stand-up comedians, where's the craft in that? Go on stage for two years, bomb 700 times. It's like that classic uh, bit about the M&Ms, you know, where you squeeze every M&M, and then, like, the one that survives, you uh, let it go up against the next pack of M&Ms. Like, every time a stand-up comedian bombs in a set, there's one good joke. They cut out that joke, polish it, takes three years, they come up with, eventually they get 41 minutes worth of jokes. And it doesn't even count because the last joke is always like a seven minute story. Like, did you see the tweet about when Gay City was trending? And then uh, the, the tweet was like Dave Chappelle getting serious at the end of his eighth Netflix special. My friend got beaten up for refusing to twerk in Gay City. He fucking died. <laughs> Oh, man. It's so true, too. I mean, not the story that's obviously made up. That, there you go. Dave Chappelle getting serious 50 minutes into a special. My friend got jumped in Gay City for refusing to twerk. He fucking died. <laughs> oh, man. That's humor, man. That's a barista right there that tweeted that. That's not Neil Brennan. No disrespect to Neil Brennan, okay? I'm only a third of the way into the new special. I'm just saying. Permission to swag out. Granted. Granted. You gonna watch the Masters this weekend? What's the point, bro? You know what they say about golf. Golf is a 72-hour tournament where everybody runs around and then at the end, Scotty Scheffler wins. Hey, Sherry Terry, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Let's start with some dolls. Hey, Anel, do you think Twitch clips have ruined streaming the same way hit singles have ruined music? Are you traveling here from... 1931? Did Mac the Knife just come out? What's, what do you mean the way hit singles ruin music? The hell are you talking about? Turn off the radio, bro. There's a wide world out there. Return of the Mac the Knife? Mark Morrison could never. Or maybe he could, I don't know. I meant like Spotify streaming. I don't think anything's ruining anything, really. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just answering your question. I'm not trying to be rude by disagreeing with you. Still good music out there. Don't, don't be one of those guys, okay? You're 22, just guessing. And you're like, oh, music was better when I was 14 when everybody was listening to shit on Groove Shark instead. You see the, I mean, there's the, like, old cuneiform tablets and shit that were like, you know, the kids these days don't respect the gods anymore, and they don't even help me, like, grind the fucking wheat in the meal anymore and shit like that. Like, so we've been doing this as on every trip around the sun forever, but one of them got me laughing today when I saw, um, it was like an art, and it was like from the Middle Ages, and it said, thus pastly or whatever. And it was like a hand reading a book. And then it was like thus presently. And it was uh, a hand playing with a deck of cards and smoking and drinking. And that shit was from like 1100 AD. Which is fucking funny, bro. 
It really is the same thing every time, huh? So <laughs> images that go insanely hard. I think it's all good. You know what? I was thinking about it this morning. It's not this poster's fault. And I must admit before I say this, I'm guilty of this every day on stream, especially. The poster made a, a post on Twitter and it was like, I, my roommates, my supposedly straight roommates grinder notification just went off and he's freaking out trying to explain it. And I think that's a perfectly funny situation. That the poster is just the straw that broke the camel's back. I hope in 10 years, it becomes perceived as cringe to sell out people that are in your community in real life that you see every day, you spend quality time with and you bond to get the approval of strangers on the internet. And I'm guilty of it more than the average person without a doubt. But I'm starting to look at it almost like this. It's like a little pathetic, right? To be 35 years old and be like, you'll never guess what my in-laws did this weekend. I'm like, those motherfuckers changed the sheets so I got someplace clean to sleep when I'm over, bro. So what I'm going to start to do instead is I'm going to sell you motherfuckers out to my in-laws, okay? I'm going to say you won't believe what this idiot said to me on the internet the other day. And I'm going to paint you in like a fucking horrible light. And we're going to bond over that. It's going to become like an inside joke for two decades. That's so much worse. Wrong, bitch. I break bread with these people. I don't know you from, what do they say in, in religious? I don't know you from Job. I don't know you from, what it, from Adam. You should know, I mean, even if this person's a stranger, you should know Adam. He's like one of the most famous guys. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know you from Adam. He's the first dude. Now that I'm uh, devoutly religious, we got to start reworking some of these expressions that don't make any sense. You can't make a pillar of salt. You can make a pile. Maybe there, there was like a mistranslation at some point. There's no way you're making a pillar, bro. It's individual grains. God can? Yeah, for two seconds until like brownie in motion causes the salt to fall. I just, I'm saying I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I'm going insane over the Kasparov hypothetical. People are saying it would only take them 50 to 100 games. That's what I did, literally verbatim. That's what I said at the start of the stream. But rather than be mad at you for restating it, I'm glad because I feel seen. When someone said it would only take me 50 games to beat Gary Kasparov, I'm like, brother, there's like grandmasters out there that already are grandmasters that can't beat Gary Kasparov in 50 games. You actually think you have an, as like a 400 ELO player, you think you have an advantage over a grandmaster just because you get to play, quote unquote, the same game every day. So-called determinist motherfuckers when Gary Kasparov is actually a human supercomputer and he changes his moves based on you changing your moves. <gasps> Anyway, sorry, sorry. It just, I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm just saying it gives off the same vibe when people are like, it would only take 50 to 100 games. It gives off the same vibe to me as Elon Musk saying, you know, a simple eight by eight grid, symmetrical position, no fog of war, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like a, optimistically, I'm like a 1500, which actually online at least puts me in, I don't know, like the top, 10% of chess players, it would take me, I think, and I could be wrong, it would take me like at least decades, it might be one decade, it might be nine decades, but I think it's even longer than that. Hey, Garmakosh, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Really? Yeah, you only get 350-ish attempts a year. How many times would I have to play a 2800 bot to beat them? I don't know. A lot. For sure. 
1,500 online is worse than IRL. Hey, excuse me, at age 13, I had a 1,750 perf rating in, a, uh, in an open level tournament in my hometown. I won $60 and bought Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. What was your finish? I don't know. I think I was three and a half out of five. I can't remember. I think I got like $30 for coming in second in the youth division and like $30 for coming in fifth in like under 1800 or something like that. And I was like, man, as long as I just play in one chess tournament every day for the rest of my life and match my personal best forever, this could be the worst fucking job of all time. <laughs> It's like a dollar an hour. Okay, let's let's get this show on the road. That's what I'm saying, bro. Is your ass when you know for the first three thousand games, Gary Kasparov hits you with e4, and then like all of a sudden he just feels like playing like the fucking Queen's Gambit decline the next day or something like that just because he woke up one minute earlier than he usually does and like that fucking butterfly effect caused him to try something different. Anyway, sorry. <gasps> it's the same outcome every day? Nah, man, you don't know. You don't know. Sometimes you're like, I, even chess.com, I'm like, I play E4 opening every time. Sometimes fucking one, the, the magnetism of one electron gets flipped the other way. And I'm like, guess what, bitch? C4. I don't even know what I'm doing. Party All The Time by Eddie Murphy, 20 year remix. Okay, obviously we're gonna need more than this. Unless it's I've got a feeling. Sorry, I got a feeling. <laughs> oh yeah, dance, it's, it's the yeah, yeah, yes. Off with head, heads will roll. That's it. What do you mean, day five of five? Are you kidding? That's a popular song, bro. I know that one. Heads will roll. Heads will roll. Heads will roll. Listen, I'm not a yeah, yeah, yes, Andy post um, fever to tell. I'm more of, a, yeah, I'll still rock out the maps, but I'm more of like a Y control type guy. But I can still get down with some, some more modern, yeah, yeah, yes, from 15 years ago. Anyway, um, I guess we'll start the dolls for real now. <clears throat> and you got the audacity to say hit singles ruin music. This shit's got 90 million views, bro. It was playing alongside Beachcomber by Real Estate. Oh, play the voice? Okay, here you go. Something to it. Not, I, I prefer the original, but there's something to it. I think it's simple. There's, there's a heuristic for Bandle. If the song is good, the cover will be worse. If the song is ass, the cover will be fire. It's that simple. Except in situations where that doesn't apply. I still kind of can't believe I've never missed a bandle. <laughs> that's like, that's kind of, that's like your 
aunt's Wordle streak. I'm like, oh, really? You've got a 500 streak in Wordle? Well, I have 104 consecutive bandle hits. Even fucking the never ending, even the never ending story, bitch. Because I had heard it on the Peloton on a Sam Yo 80s video store ride 18 months prior and just in my head. The never ending story. Na 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 na. What's your Duolingo streak? Crazy that you've got a 1,200-day Duolingo streak. I have a zero-day streak, and neither of us fucking knows how to speak Spanish. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm more of a Rosetta Stone, Andy. The boy is on the airplane. The boy is on the air. The girl is on the airplane. An airplane. A boy. A girl. An airplane is on the airplane. A flower. A flower with wings, like an airplane. Do people still use Rosetta Stone? How do you think I know Piengi? No, they don't. The way that they sold us Rosetta Stone back in the day was basically they told us that it was um, magic. They were like, don't waste your time learning a language the old-fashioned way. This 97-year-old polyglot still learns languages the old-fashioned way. They were like, we have invented with cognitive neuroscientists. We've invented a magic formula. If you just see enough photos of a boy next to an airplane, boom, three months, you're speaking fluent Korean. We don't know how to, it's magic, bro. We hit it with the bibbity bobbity boo We're dulzing. I like the dulzing with you. This is bad. Anytime you see regions, this is bad. And these are the ones that we had earlier, which is like earlier in this week, which is even worse. Dragon evolved by item. That's a gimme. It is Grimlo. Gibble becomes Gar Chomp. That's it. Gar Chomp. Does not require a dragon stone, unfortunately. Okay. A dark dragon. An electric dragon. This is bad, man. Okay. I, they, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to ask what regions they are. I'm going to try to do it sight on scene. Let me tell you something. Electric Sinnoh. Mm, electric. Hoenn Electric. Manectric. That's how we do it. It's called process of elimination. Dark Sino. Gibble. No. Tyra no, we did that. It's Tyranitar. Just because he can learn bite doesn't mean he's a dark type, right? Mm, on the other hand, Tyranitar. Tyranitar. No, okay. Um... Dark type Pokemon. A dark type Pokemon. Reggie Dark. Doesn't exist. You know what? He's a refrigerator. He's a dragon. Reggie Drago. That's an electric dragon in this house. Okay. Hmm. Dark Dragon. Bahamut Zero. Oh, sorry. You don't know Kino. Electric, electric from Sinnoh. How about Riolu? Nope, I'm thinking of a different guy. I'm thinking of a little mouse. Kind of looks like this, but he's got like little... Oh, his name is Denene. Dedene. Dedene. Pikachu's cousin Dedene. Does not count, okay? Um, I'm thinking of... Uh, I'm thinking of an electric Pokemon called Luxray. Yes! <laughs> Two, okay, can we get to the 33%? That's a pass in Canada if the teacher doesn't want to ever see you again. Um, um, the dark Pokemon from the Sinnoh region that you want. This is a dragon, bro. Darkrai must be a dragon. Darkrai? Not a dragon. Confirm, not a dragon. Okay. Okay. 
You were you had it? What he's from the Oh, he is he is the middle square. He's the damn uh what's the center square on Hollywood Squares? Whoopi Goldberg? Why am I asking you if I don't know it like fucking do I think any like fifty two year old ants are in here? It is Whoopi, okay. Wow, imagine typing electric, bro. When instead you could have typed manectric. I always thought electric. I, I guess now I'm getting it. I thought he looked like a motorcycle. You could have gotten mag mortar. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I didn't know that mag mortar. I guess I did know that he evolves via an item. I guess it's a Sinnoh stone. But, like, again, the rules for Pokemon Go don't apply to all the Pokemon games. So sometimes, like, you need an item to evolve them in Pokemon Go, and then I use it in Pokedoku, and they're like, no shot, bro. Of course, Rotom Heat. I do love Probo Pass. Raging Bolt just got back from the damn vet. Gotta get him the donut so he don't bite his damn stitches, man. Oh, who's, who's a proud electric dragon? Who's a... Don't condescend to me, trainer. Our plans are measured in centuries. Yeah, okay, buddy. Just don't fucking bite your stitches, okay? They'll open up and all your guts will come out. He got the damn Super Saiyan haircut, too. Look at that, man. Is framed. Framed is good. Except when it's a movie that has Brian Cranston that came out the streaming services only and has a 71% on Rotten Tomatoes. This is going to be, it's a movie in England where somebody travels. <laughs> Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. England basketball. Nobody saw this, bro, unless this is Hustle. I, I, which I, okay, it is hustle. All right, it's that easy. I saw this. I do not remember him being in England. I guess maybe he was there to connect to Spain to meet, what was the guy's name? Bo. Bo, I know it. Guys, it was a decent movie. It's perfectly watchable. Bo Catan. Bo Cruz. That's right, Bo Cruz. They should do animated movies for Framed. 25-year-old motherfuckers when nobody's talked about Shrek for three seconds. After posting a record-breaking dash and a big year at Washington, John Ross got drafted ninth overall by this AFC team in 2017. Oh, John Ross on the damn Bengals, bro! Just a lucky guess, honestly. Holy! This LFU... This LSU defensive back and kick returner was drafted fifth overall by the Cardinals in 2011. Easy. His name is Dante. Dante Smith. Imagine if that had worked. Patrick Peterson. All right. As part of their run to the 2023 NBA Finals, the Miami Heat lost the seven, play in, seven seed play in game to Atlanta before beating this team in the eighth seed play in game. I have to say is the Indiana Pacers. Don't remember. It was them or the, the Magic. The Timberwolves? The Bulls. I'm more surprised the Bulls made the playoffs, or the play-in, I should say. This German chancellor organized the 1884 Berlin Conference to regulate European colonization known as the Scramble for Africa. It's the fucking... Bismarck, just took me a second, okay? Just took me a damn second. Because I was like, Kaiser Wilhelm II, who was his fucking, who was his Grima worm tongue? That's um, the Grey's Anatomy lady, whose name is... 
Or it could be Liv Tyler. Anyway, it's, it's all for naught because I don't know. Isn't this the dude who's trying to become a vampire? Like the tech CEO is trying to become a vampire? The only other person I can think of with hair like this is Tom Hiddleston. I think Tom Hiddleston, he's got like... No disrespect to the Steve Carell office season one hairline, but I think he's got some more fullness there. Also, I don't think Tom Hiddleston, he's more of like a, a button up old school, like handsome British actor with the Seville Row suits and stuff like that. And I, I, it's, I, to see him with like the collar a little bit stretched out and the tie a little loose, but it's all for naught because I, I don't know Grey's Anatomy's name. I'll know it when I see it. Like, I can see her in my head. But I don't know her name. Tom Hiddleston. And... Mariska Hargate. I know it's not Mariska Hargate. What's her name? Ellen Pompo! Ellen Pompo! <laughs> hmm. So true. Could be Adrian Brody. Yeah. I'll plus two that. I, I would, listen, we should call out more positive takes than negative takes. Someone said Jeffrey Dean Morgan. And I'm like, no disrespect. It's like when people say, I say I've lost 40 pounds. And then people say you look the same. And then I put up two pictures of us side by side. And I'm like, really? <laughs> look at the size of my fucking head, bro. Jeffrey Dean Morgan is like, 6'2", 220. This guy weighs like 140 pounds. Daytona beach style wings, lots of tots, and buffalo shrimp are items served by what sit-down chain? Daytona beach style wings. Shrimp is one of those rare things. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it's Margaritaville, but I just don't know. Just had that vibe to it. It's Hooters. I feel like I don't really care for a shrimp to be buffaloed. Tempura, sure. Um, coconutted, absolutely. Butterflied. I'm just, I, I don't know. I don't, I've never had a buffalo shrimp, but. Scampied, sure. It's one of the meats that I'd love scampied the most, I would say. Tyler Posey, Dylan O'Brien, and Tyler Hecklin starred in this MTV Supernatural teen drama that must be Teen Wolf because they've given us enough context. This actor won Best Actor for his portrayal of Hannibal Lecter. Who is Sir Anthony... Who is Sir Titus Salt? Who is Anthony Anderson? Just kidding. Could you whisper in my ear the things you want to feel? I give anything to feel it come. The opening lyrics. Could you whisper in my ear? I want to wake up where you are. I fucking hate the goo goo dolls. That's slide. It took me a second though, because it's either that or um, I don't want the world to see me because I don't think that they'd understand. Okay. They're not beating the odds or the beating the allegations, I should say. You got it wrong? Excuse me. It's right there. They're not beating the, the allegations on Barstool. 17% of people know Otto von Bismarck. Has to action. No disrespect. I'm thinking top 10 most famous German person in world history. I probably don't need to mention number one. Then you got, it might even be fucking Kaiser Wilhelm II, number two, or Otto von Bismarck, number two. Then it's probably Michael Ballack. <laughs> Or Oliver Kahn or something like that. Angela Merkel, for sure. Einstein? I don't know, man. I think it's Bismarck, man. He's up there. I mean, all I'm saying is at the very least, he's up there. With Leon Dreisaitl. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 voice. Leon Dreisaitl. It's a very yeah, anyway, I, Adrian Brody, Adrian Brody and Ellen Pompo. So true, so true. I went Brody blind. 
<clears throat> Fair enough. 41% on a draft pick from 13 years ago is crazy. It is. It is. I mean, you, you learn about... You, you can't help but be shaped by the way that you spend your time. You want to be fit? You spend your time not exercising? You're not going to be fit. It's just the way of the world, man. If you want to be smart, but you watch college sports, well, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying, you, you choose via your behavior, not via your intentions. You better work, bitch. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> P, brown, green, head. Things you get on the toilet. <laughs> Connections is easy today. Okay, well, I'm not going to let it mind flood me then. I'm not going to let it mind flood me. Head director, chief, and chair. The leader of a group. Hazel, green, brown. This is the red herring. It's not going to be eye color. Grounds, lawn, field, and green. Where bowls take place. Hmm. 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 Coco. Coco. Isle of dogs. Isle of fiction. Isle of brown. Brown hazel, hmm, witch hazel, witch chest, Django, unchained, unchained. Ah, oh, whoa, whoa, Reservoir Dogs, Jackie Brown, Django Unchained, Pulp Fiction, the second word in Quentin Tarantino movies. P, chest, hazel, coco. I don't know. What do I care? We got it. Words before nut. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to hazel. This is what you fucking sound like. This doesn't make any sense. New York Times puzzle maker about to climax. Uh, 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 oh, fucking stop doing that shit. I'm going to Coco. <laughs> oh. Stop doing that shit. I'm going to pee. <laughs> seedless, five pounds of seedless lemons. I'm just going to say it. Lemons may be the, the fruit that you only need one of the most. I buy lemons now and then, but I guess actually, to be honest with you, I buy lemons never. I buy lemon all the time. What do you need five pounds of lemons for? Who needs five pounds? I guess if you run like a lemonade stand or something. Yeah. <laughs> Cocktails for a party? It's 2024, brother. Everybody's just taking, you know, two edibles and then watching Netflix in the group chat. Nobody's getting together anymore. There's no third places. It's got to be cheap. There's no lemons have to be cheap unless you're buying one of them. Four ninety nine dollar a pound. It's fucking seven ninety nine. You won't catch me paying seven ninety nine. I'd rather pay five bucks for one lemon. <laughs> Get real with that price. So to CEO of business, come on. That makes no sense. Because I just need like one lemon anyway. And then I'm going to have to fucking throw the rest into the organics bin, which is going to cost me one organics bin bag, which is like 85 cents. Those things don't grow on trees. 
They actually might. I don't know what they're made of. Just eat the lemons. You can only zest them for like so long, bro. You can't say that about onions. Librarian, you don't cook. No disrespect. If you think onions and lemons have the same frequency culinarily, you don't cook. Onions are in everything. You could put like two onions in every single meal and barely notice. That, that, those potatoes and onions, there's a reason those come in huge bags. Hang on, hang on. I've misrepresented you. Chatter said the lemon thing applies to onions. Okay, and you're not, is the chatter in the room with us right now? <laughs> I'm just joking. I've missed you. Okay, I caught, caught. I've misrepresented you. I misrepresented you. Samoa. It, has there ever been a worse guess in the history of global? 16,000 kilometers away. It's, I, again, I, I ask this now and then. What's the circumference of the earth? Is the circumference of the earth like 32,530 kilometers? <laughs> Could we actually get... Is it possible to engineer a guess that's further away than this? The space station might actually be closer. <laughs> Wait, how high up is the, is the ISS? You might be right. At least at a, at a snapshot in time, we may... Oh, it's 120 kilometers up. Never mind. Still, the, the, it turns out the ISS is still further away. Okay, so all it is is almost as distant from Samoa as you can get, which means it's Namibia. 6,000, easy. Slovakia. Warmer. Croatia. He's, it, it's better than yesterday, bro, and I didn't even know where I was on the first guess. You said 120 is more than 32,000? It is, if we're talking about 120 millions of things. You, a fool, 32,000 is bigger than 120. Oh yeah? I didn't tell you, it's 120 billion dollars, and now you don't get any of it. Didn't you learn in math class? Your teacher's, you're, you're always like, eight minus six equals two. And then your teacher's like, two what? And you're like, oh, fucking two apples. You raise your GPA by one point with this simple trick. <laughs> Just add apples at the end of every single math problem you ever do. <laughs> two what? Two fucking, reading the entire word problem again. Two fucking cars. You got me. That shit's Alabama, bro. That's Alabama. <laughs> it's Portugal? It's Togo. Uh, it's one of it's Togo or Ghana or can't, okay, it's Ghana or Cameroon. Benin, Benin to you as well. Um, Shane on season one of The Walking Dead. 
when he wants to play GeoGuessr with Carl. We need to ask you something, Carl. I... They're not all gonna hit. Let me ask you something. I can't do a good John Bernthal impression. Holy hell, minus two. One. <laughs> One bubbling cauldron of Franklin's roiling crimson tonic. December 28th, 2001, New Line Cinema. 2001, I was in the eighth grade and the Fellowship of the Ring was popping the fuck off in December. That's a given. Okay, Warner Brothers movie. Also popping off around this time period. Harry Potter 1. That's the Philosopher's Stone. Or as I call it, Harry Square Bracket. Pter. Okay, that stings, but fair enough. Warner Brothers, and it's making more money, post-Batman, a crime thriller, 2001, okay? Starring George Clinton. It's Ocean's Eleven, bro. It's Ocean's Eleven. Already an insane weekend at the multiplex. Imagine that doubleheader. Holy... I'm just going to tell you, if you don't know how to read box office scores, here's a piece of info for you. If a movie's been out for a while and it's a wide release, i.e. like it didn't, it's not the holdovers where it opened in like four theaters and then weekend three, it was in like 2000. If it gains gross week to week, that shit's a damn phenomenon. I mean, even this is crazy. A, a huge blockbuster, and this is what blockbusters looked like back then in the pre-Marvel days. A huge blockbuster losing 20% week one to week two is insane. It used to be like a 50% average. 20% is like people went back. One week later, they went, this is some Dune 2 shit, bro. Paramount Pig. Even this one is popping. Oh, you're right. It's Christmas week. I guess people are off as well. <laughs> there is that. Debbie Derryberry. A little genius becomes a big hero in 2001. Some Jimmy Neutron stuff. Jimmy Neutron boy genius. Okay. <laughs> big pull on that one because I have no idea who Debbie Derryberry is. I guess she voices Jimmy Neutron. You know how we know that is because we looked, you made me look up the best animated features winners of the Oscars last week. Because I was like, people are always going on about how the Academy doesn't respect animated movies. And I was like, I don't buy it. Then we looked at it on stream and I was like, man, for like 17 consecutive years, they did not respect animated movies. They only nominated three for like the first 10 years. Sometimes they were like cars. Happy Feet won. Happy Feet won best animated picture one year. Sony Pictures opened to... It opened to 14 million and simultaneously has grossed 40 million in its first weekend. Okay. Maybe somebody bought like a super ticket. Fucking 300,000% tip or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Will Smith, 2001. A couple of, I mean, it, it, listen. It's because it's fucking confusing. I think this is wrong. I think this is Men in Black 2. And, and that the numbers are just cooked for some reason. Nope, okay. So it's post Wild Wild West. Could be Ali. Could be, maybe they were gunning for um, Oscar Buzz. Yeah! I, Robot, you don't know what you're talking about. I Robot is a is a mid two thousand slapper. I didn't know Ali was a Michael Mann joint. And then Paramount Pictures five percent down week three, starring Tom Cruise, two thousand and one, Vanilla Sky. 
86th percentile. You give me some shit from when I was in like the 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth grade, we're going off. That's all I'm going to say. This is an insane week at the multiplex, bro. I like Vanilla Sky. I, I'm a product of my time. It's a product of its time. There's, there's three good pictures to see. What is that tagline? Oh, you mean love, hate, dreams, life, work, play, friendship, sex? <laughs> well, you're not a Justin Timberlake fan? Jimmy Neutron, best movie that week. Yeah, clears Fellowship of the Ring easily. No doubt about it. Mega Mind to Hot Shots. Easy. Simple. Who's in Mega Mind? This is Will Ferrell, right? Let me, let me take a peek at this. Will Ferrell, Tina Fey, David Cross, what? J.K. Simmons, all of Ben Stiller's kids. Okay, fair enough. From Hot Shots, Charlie Sheen, Carrie Elways, Valeria Galino, Lloyd Bridges, Mandelbaum, Mandelbaum, John Cryer, okay. Ryan Stiles, of course. This guy, you know this guy. Hmm, John Lennon Jr., Jimmy Ray Weeks, Charles Barkley, of course, Bill Lambeer is in that. Um, I'm, I hit the fucking core of the earth on this one. Okay, so first step is get to the modern era and find a comedian. Charlie Sheen, Scary Movie 3. I'm going to stick with 3 on that one. Now we're looking for Jonah Hill. Uh, Kevin Hart, Get Hard. <laughs> Will Ferrell, Megamind. Pretty good on the time today, at least. I can, I'm pretty good on the time. Will Ferrell. Saturday Night Live, the best of Will Ferrell, Charlie Sheen, of course. Of course. Not a bad one. Can you do it through Space Jam? <coughs> Charles Barkley. Hot Shots, Charles Barkley. Space Jam. Bill Murray. <coughs> Zombieland, Jesse Eisenberg, no, no, I can't do it, I can't be done, <laughs> Bill Murray, best of Saturday Night Live, so true, Social Network with Jonah Hill. That's not Jonah Hill, bro. That's Trent Reznor. You appear to be confused. Is uh Bully? Metacritic score of 84%. Sly Cooper. Originally on the Wii, 999. Third person hack and slash with quick time events. No more heroes. Three. It's in the No More Heroes franchise. No More Heroes one. No More Heroes 2. Desperate Struggle. Yeah, see, we got it. <clears throat> Dipped in. <laughs> Mama Liz's chili oil, for sure, for sure. All I'm saying is Doctor Strange looked at 13 million possible futures and found one where they could beat Thanos. Motherfuckers are out here thinking they beat Gary Kasparov in 50 games. The Thanos of chess. Come on. I'm just asking you to, to 
be realistic, okay? This shit is too easy. This is Fallout New Vegas. Average number of guesses required, zero. Easy, easy. It's the, one of the most iconic covers in, in history. Starcraft 2. Heart of the Swarm. System Shock 2. 1. Shadow Run Hong Kong. Katana Zero. What's this motherfucker? <laughs> it's not super hot. Is it Ultra Kill? It's not oh that up for sure. It was Ultra Kill. Cruelty Squad? No. Or the um uh, um it's the the Polish game. The Polish not Cyberpunk, but uh Runner, Runner. Runner, Ghost Runner, Ghost Runner, Ruiner. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how the, the, your brain gets like twisted up like that? Like in my head, I was like, this is Ghost Runner. In my head, my head was not right, man. The neurons got, they put a, a spelling neuron on top of like a, a similarity neuron. Could you beat chat GPT in a rap battle? I already have. Because there's, there's spirit in my actual, in my rhymes. My rhymes are the, the product of my own unique experience on planet Earth, rather than synthesizing like every rap album that's ever been written and then just producing a facsimile. I can even produce the facsimiles better. I'm a feminine lesbian Eminem. <laughs> Doing Spice Wars. Single player only. Big tech. Dune. Dune. Dune, Dune, Dune. E, E, E. It's not science fiction. Single player only, not science fiction. Easy. The Evil Within 2. Eh? It's going to be third person only. From 1992 to 2017. Going to be a little game by the name of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Hmm, okay, okay. Okay. Came out. It's older because it was not on PS4 or Xbox One, but it's not as old as the Amiga. And it was probably on the PC. Or it could be, I was going to say super new, but that's not the case. In the 360 era, it's simple. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Oh, uh, 2002. Okay, okay. And it was on some of these consoles. It's not a tactical shooter. There are action and possibly stealth elements, though. How about Sly Cooper, motherfucker? Do you speak it? Oh! <laughs> Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. I do it if you put me back in 0102. This shit ain't going down the way it did in the timeline that we're living in, okay? That's all I'm saying. For some of us, we never left, bro. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. What were you doing back in 01? 
playing at NHL 02, mostly. I was actually in 03, Andy, I have to admit. I believe 03 was Jerome Aginla on the cover. And uh, the, the title song that played during the montage, if you didn't press the start button, Spin it back a wall. Are you listening? Are you listening? You know what I'm talking about? Jimmy Eat World? I'm waiting for the sequel. Fucking Jimmy shit the world out, please. No, Jimmy, don't hold the world in. It doesn't do anything. A one-word movie. Critics hated it. Audiences loved it. Guarantee this is complete dog shit then. Shh, no disrespect to Aquaman. A Jekyll and Hyde story, an odd couple movie, a broad comedy, stitched together into one incoherent mess. Oh, it's Venom. It's Venom 1. It's Venom, yeah, because it's two people. It's a superhero movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes perfect sense. Morbius, no disrespect. Morbius is not getting a 30 on critic score and is certainly not getting an 80 on the audience score. It's either going to get 4 or 100. It's time to hazel. I know, you know what we're talking about. It's fucking tough, bro. It's fucking tough. Jessica Alba's been in three movies. I know this. Jake Gyllenhaal, Michelle Rodriguez. Okay, easy. Jessica Alba. Three or more word title. Good luck, Chuck. Jessica Alba, genre, action. 00 to 2010. Give me Fantastic Four 2, Rise of the Silver Surfer. And then genre, action. Give me Sin... Oh, but no, brother, Sin City is going to be number one. Give me Fantastic Four, the original. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> honey. Ah, oh, I forgot about Honey, bro. Everybody forgot about Honey, but that's what makes it such a good answer. Okay, Jake Gyllenhaal, 00 to, to 2010, that's a gimme. You go bubble boy on that bitch. Three or more word title, plenty of options. Genre, action. The Warrior, was that the one that we got stumped on in uh, Framed the other day? Three or more word title, Jake Gyllenhaal, Okja. <laughs> Jarhead, okay? Nightcrawler. Hold on, hang on, hang on there. Donnie Darko. Spider-Man Far From Home. So that's that's a that's one that fits, but it is probably gonna be a big one. Jake Gyllenhaal. Training nope. Ed, edge of watch. End of watch. End of watch. There we go. Thank you for that. Genre action. Give me a jarhead on this one. Okay, pretty good on Jake Gyllenhaal. Michelle Rodriguez. Genre action. We go girl fight on this one. She's not in that shit, bro. That's Jennifer Lopez. the fuck has Michelle Rodriguez been in that's not the Fast and the Furious movies and Lost? Or maybe Girl Fight's not an action movie. Girl Fight? That's bullshit, bro. It's called Girl Fight. How could it not be an action movie? It's called Girl Fight. Three or more word title. Fast and the Furious, not Tokyo Drift. Let's go Fate. No, no, no. Let's. 
Let's go too fat, too furious, fist and furious, secrets of the furious five. I'm going to say furious seven. She ain't in that one, bro. <laughs> Spoilers. Oh, that's only two words. No, 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 no. I knew Roadhouse would be number one. Honey, honey was number one for, for the third category. Holy cow. Oh, she is also in the Resident Evil movies. She played Resident Evil Annihilation. Spell check. Maybe it'll work. Select all squares with bicycles. Is, a, is one eighth of a handlebar a bicycle? I'm going to say yes. Oh, they hit me with another one. Please try again. Okay, now the computer is giving me a CAPTCHA. Apparently the computer is saying your CAPTCHA was not good enough. Okay, select all images with stairs. There's stairs in that. I don't know if you see them, but there's stairs in that one. Verify. Please try again? They actually think I'm a computer, bro. Select all images with buses. I'm in. It took me three captures, bro. Literally, Google AI is like, I think you're a computer. How would you know? You don't even know you're a computer, idiot. Integrity. A noun meaning firm. Estimate. A verb meaning to judge. So true. Bowie. A biographical name meaning James 1796. Yep. When I think of Bowie, that's the first thing I think of. Same. A adjective. <laughs> okay, are we talking? Are we having a good, do we just have a moment? Inside. A noun meaning an in. Parley. A verb meaning to speak with another. Inerrancy. A noun meaning exemption from error. Infallibility. Holy inerrancy? Nausea. A noun Heartburn, meaning a stomach disorder. Indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Laborious, a adjective meaning involved. My favorite word. Plating, a noun meaning the interlacing of What? <coughs> Excuse me? Thought it was gonna be like armor plating. Abalones, a noun meaning. A noun meaning seafood that costs $9 per unit, but only tastes like it should cost $3.12 per unit. Anent, a preposition meaning about, concerning. Anent originates from Middle English, unevent. Easy. I use it all the time. Bodrun, a noun meaning a shallow handheld Irish drum. Bodrun is an Irish Gaelic word for a type of frame drum used in traditional music. Bod I think you might want to check your, your dictionary on that one. I think we got it. Quasimodo, a noun meaning the Sunday following Easter. <laughs> Really? I thought it was the dude who was ringing the damn bell. Bibolo, a noun meaning a small household ornament or decorative object. You got me. A oh, bibolo, okay. Bod, a oh, dude! That's actually the most heartbreaking spell check loss I've ever gotten because I was on a fucking limb putting the H in there. I just put it in the wrong spot. Plating. Okay, fair enough. Motherfucker put the silent H in the wrong spot. That should be a half point. Me going up to talk to the teacher after I got the question wrong but if you read it in the least charitable way possible you can see how like there was a, a sliver of rightness in my answer i know you gave me a zero but wouldn't you say i'm like actually like 12 percent right which for me should be worth like a half mark in my opinion this is baba ganoush from lebanon there were going to be a lot of right answers. I was also thinking Turkey. I was not thinking Armenia, though. How'd you know that? This is Baba Ganoush's fucking delicious and 
It's all over the place now. You, you can get baba ganoush in any Canadian grocery store. You can't? Yeah, look next to the tzatziki next time. Look next to the hummus, okay? I've never seen it. Maybe you've never looked, man. Try going to the sections of the grocery store that have to be refrigerated instead of just the stuff in bags and boxes in the middle aisles, okay? There's a whole world out there. Spreads, metzes, tapas, fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Frozen pizzas, true. Frozen pizzas. It's a damn sausage roll, bro. It's a sausage roll from the nation of the United Kingdom. Battered sausage. <laughs> My shit in the summer vacation in 10th grade because I didn't have a job. You know what I'm saying, Prezzo? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at, for an opportunity to say hi and that just seemed like a good one. Now, battered sausage, you may not be able to find in a store here. I don't know. You'd have to look at least. Why are you being mean? It's not mean. I assume that we were all beating our shit like 4X daily during summer vacation if we were unemployed. We didn't have anything else to do. Yep. <laughs> That's sundubu. No, 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 no. It's, it's palm oil, which always makes me think of Indonesia. And coconut milk. It's got to be Indonesia. Ice cold! Um... The Caribbean somewhere? Cool. God is my witness. I have no idea whatsoever. Thought to have been... Oh, it's called Mokeka. Thought to have been brought to its country by enslaved people. It retains its origins and new influence. It is playing at its residence. To me, moqueca sounds more Portuguese than Spanish. Portugal, I don't know. Portugal's technically south. Oh, that's cold. Okay. All right. So it's in Africa. Moqueca. Jamaica was cool. Portugal's, Portugal's cold. Jamaica was cool. Portugal's cold. So it won't be east of Portugal, but the compass is pointing east of Portugal. The compass is pointing east of Portugal. It's pointing east. East of Portugal. East. But it's, co it's closer to Jamaica than it is to Portugal. <laughs> but it's pointing to the east they're both pointing to the east but it's you know what I'm saying <laughs> do, you, do you get what I'm saying like if it's east of Portugal which is 3,000 kilometers east of Jamaica how could it be closer to Jamaica than to Portugal when it's east of both of them. It doesn't make any sense, bro. It doesn't make any sense, man. Oh, there could be more than one answer. South Africa? Warmer, northwest of South Africa, Mozambique, Angola, 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 
And Brazil, that's how. There, you're right, there were two answers, Angola and Brazil. That was a tough one, man. Because it's not just that there's two different places, it's that there's, they're, they're geographically disparate. It was so obvious. Guy who lives in Angola be like, how did you not know Mokeka? Guy who lives in Angola visiting New York City for the first time and seeing a hamburger. So what is this? Some kind of like sandwich Mokeka? Mokeka served on bread? There's like nothing more satisfying than getting a plus two from 80% of people and then like one person just posting question marks. Because I'm like, n that person, like they typed it thinking they were going to be in a chorus of question marks, but actually they were in a chorus of plus twos. It's like you're the guy at the sports game going like, oh, when everybody else is standing and cheering because you got fu fucked up vision and didn't realize the puck went in the net. Now everybody's like, this guy doesn't know ball. Oh, man. 13,000. Average score today, 11,330. <clears throat> Acted. Is there anything more annoying than the postmortem for, like, you got an answer wrong? Like, I don't need feedback on the answer being wrong, motherfucker. It had gave me an X when I typed it in. I already got the feedback. People are like, you really shouldn't have guessed this when it gave you this clue. No shit. They give me an X. They give me a big red X. They went, eh, eh. They've automated your role. You're no longer necessary here, okay? They gave me a buzzer noise. A, a hook came out from the side of the stage and pulled me in. James Cromwell and Chi McBride. It's Star Trek First Contact. It's, it's LA Confidential. It's Star Trek First Contact. Alan Tudyk, James Cromwell, Chai McBride. It's iRobot. That motherfucker did not murder him, bro! This is a Canadian classic, man. They really got James Cromwell and Bruce Greenwood. Alan Tudyk looks like a great like meme template here. Hmm. Salient point. Unfortunately for you, I just shit my pants. Oh, man. He does kind of look like he's saying hemomancer. <laughs> Hemom... Hemomancer. Very 2010s pilled. Discord. I'm howling at the moon. This fucking Cinematrix shit, bro. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Russell Crowe, Jennifer Connelly. Hmm. Don't want to be controversial. Maybe something like A Beautiful Mind. 99%, 99.99999%. Russell Crowe, Ridley Scott. Me personally, you say gladiator. Wrong, bitch. I say American gangster. We clown in this motherfucker. Oscar nominated Best Picture with Russell Crowe. That one, I gotta be honest with you. I don't believe that Master and Commander was properly respected upon its release. I have to say Gladiator for that one. Or, you know what? I bet, I bet LA Confidential was nominated because that is a fucking... You can't deny. It will not be denied. LA Confidential will not be denied. Science Fiction, Jennifer Connelly. She's in one of the Supermans. Science Fiction, Ridley Scott. I mean, this is a, a no-brainer. Uh, me personally, everyone's gonna go to Alien. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swerve it, and I might regret it. But I'm gonna swerve it and go Martian instead. Ooh, Aliens Three. Excuse me. There is no Aliens Three. The third movie is called Alien Three, and it's directed by David Fincher, motherfucker. Stick to geography. Oscar-nominated Best Picture. That's science fiction. Let's not get too clever with this. 
obviously, <laughs> I was going to say Oppenheimer. Let's not even go there. 2014 to 2024, better recognize motherfucker Ridley Scott, The Last Duel, one of the movies of all time. A 2014 to 2024 picture that was nominated for Best Picture. That's tough. I'm going to say West Side Story because it's, uh, it's been top of mind recently. These are all going to be low, but we'll take them. And then 2014 to 2024, Jennifer Connelly. I honestly don't know. Honestly don't know. It's another Superman movie. What, what was she fucking... No, she was in the Hulk. I'm stupid. She was in the Hulk, bro. She was in Hulk 2003. I was going to say, if you start calling that not a science fiction movie, look at the fucking poster. There's a big green guy with Eric Bana's haircut. Jennifer Connelly, 2014 to 2024. Unknown. Science fiction nominated for Best Picture. There's lots of options. I'm going to say everything, everywhere, all at once. I'm, and I'm, I'm just honestly, Labyrinth. <laughs> labyrinth. Two. I know it's wrong, but let's, let's exhaust our guesses. Look at that. Top 20% of players today. Not bad. Top Gun Maverick. You gotta see that one. I heard it saved cinema. Arrival, Alien, Les Miserables. Jennifer Con oh, Russell Crowe's in Les Miserables. Okay. Dark City, bitch. Dark, dark city, bitch. You can just watch the first one again. Your 54-year-old neighbor be like, yeah, Top Gun Maverick was okay, but it can't hold a candle to the original. I mean, what are you talking about here? Isn't, isn't it like a universal consensus that like the first one is like an okay action movie that is a product of its times, and then Top Gun Maverick is like a fucking roller coaster? I haven't even seen them. I don't know why I'm trying to flex. But anyway, let me go to the bathroom. Good dose today. I'll be back in two minutes. See you in a moment. Lord, I'm howling at the moon. Fine, you know what? Just just because you asked, I'll hit you with strands. So here's the docket. 
68 minutes of ballot trail challenges, two hours sponsored re-look at Shadows of Doubt, the detective simulator where I mostly just broke my legs falling off of buildings over and over. That was a fun game. I know. I know I'm a doctor too. What was that about? I don't think I'd be a good detective is what I'm trying to say, I guess. In closing, I'm looking for the word finish. I'm looking for a finale. I'm looking for the end. In close, I'm looking for legal words like mm, screen, screen. What? Like in closing, like a door or a window, a window, a, 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 a screen, a feel, a, a really, there's, this is like our corner where we can work with. Because like, how are we going to get this, this why out of here when you consider what it's surrounded by? You could just do cry, but I don't think it's going to be cry, brother. It could be leery. Could be real. <laughs> Bets. <laughs> Best, okay. Best screen play. <laughs> Best actor, best in closing. I don't think I know what the hell I'm doing. Just being honest with you, sire, rise, always. Okay. This <laughs> hits. Sit. It's not sit. Sit's not a word. Sit's not a word. You heard it here first. I'm sorer than you. Hmm. Thanks. Ah, things you say at the end of a letter. Sign. Sign. Signing. Signing off. Sign signature. I'm definitely ass. Ah, sincerely. Hmm. Best wishes till next time. Cheering. <laughs> Cheers. Regards. Sign off. Sign. Oh my God. Signing off. Holy cow. This shit was impossible, bro. <laughs> Stans really gets this with no hints every day. These fucking cracked words, man. In like 32 minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying people, they maximize for different things, okay?
I mean, I, I can relate to that. I am a long Andy when it comes to um, box office game, and I'm a long Andy on connections for sure. <clears throat> oh no, just saw the Slay the Spire 2 pictures. It still looks like ass. It's such a chore to be alive in 2024. 1995, game comes out, or the game is announced. People don't even have a chance to get hyped until two years later, a screenshot shows up in a magazine. And then people go, oh, that looks pretty good. And then it comes out. And it takes like five years for any kind of critical consensus on whether or not it's good or not to be calcified. Then like 10 years ago, game gets announced. Everybody loves it uh, until it comes out. And then everybody hates it until the sequel comes out. And then everybody loves the original and nobody likes the sequel. So that's, that's a classic for sure. Nowadays, we just skip that whole middle part and uh, game didn't exist. Oh, I hope they make it. They're making it. It looks like shit. It comes out. That came out. I didn't even see a commercial or any. I had no idea it came out. Guy, guy who has 17 different ad blockers and never leaves his house. What the marketers for this really screwed up. I didn't even know that it existed. If Disney Plus wanted me to watch Shogun, they should have spent some money on advertising. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Turn on your TV. I literally only found out this show existed. Guy who lives in the Unabomber's cabin in the woods voice. I literally just found out this show existed and it's ending tonight. What a big marketing fail. Can you, can anybody say marketing fail? Goofy when he takes himself too seriously. Listen, I'll be the first to say Gorsh, but... Okay, Balatro, Balatro, baby. Five card draw. You start with card sharp and joker, but you can just dump them if you want. Six discards per round, five hand size, seven joker slots. I see the problem. I see the issue. Bro, we could go crazy on some like delayed gratification though. High card build, delayed gratification. Let me think about this for a second. 80 points, yeah, for now. Until someone plays a better ace. You still have discards? I don't need the discard. You start with high card at all times. You're right, my jokers are backwards. Honestly, me personally, we don't go stone on this one. Just because, like, what the fuck do we care? Two pairs gonna be hard to make. Three of a kind's gonna be tough to make. We take it anyway, just think it'll help card sharp out because it, it grows permanently. And you know what, in that case, give me some of this. Two pair, huh? It's easy. It's the easiest hand to make in human history. Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Rare had more sell value. Economics and these, when you find out the way to win the game is not optimally spending money, but uh, creating score. <gasps> I mean, plus one hand size would go kind of crazy, but never tell me the odds. You know what? Fuck it, bro. We ball. Space pants. And we the two space pants in aggregate create one basic joker. 
perfect. <laughs> hey, oh, he's crazy, though. Moneyball ass build, so true. Uh, it's crazy. It's risky, but it's crazy, but it's risky, but it's crazy. Hmm, but it's risky. Hmm, but it's crazy. Hey, NL, did you know they're releasing a Joker too? I did, I did. La foi de de Joker. La foi, la folie du Joker. Hang on, I'm working on it. Plus one molten. Wait, that's not how we should play this. Hang on, I'm stupid. I got a, I got a much better idea. By the way, we're gonna win this challenge, and you will all be ashamed of your words and your deeds. This is a gimme. You're in just chatting. Okay, okay, okay. Not Bradlington. Do you know what game you're looking at right now? Cod? <laughs> I just thought some other people might be confused. Me, when I buy just chatting on Steam and find out it's not the greatest version of poker ever released, but instead some kind of like horny visual novel. No! Sai, the millennial in me. Sai unzips. <laughs> This is a bad start. Okay, or is it fine? Maybe it's totally fine. Oh, it's totally fine. You play this to pump up, ride the bus. You play this to pump up, ride the bus. You play this to pump up, ride the bus. And then, oh, that sucked ass. <laughs> I could have gotten four more molt, bro. Oh, the banana you shouldn't have. Six discards is, is too good. Ah! Easy. Play a 8-7. Uh, hmm, 10-7. It's just that easy. Have you seen the TikTok Riz party? I have not seen the TikTok Riz party, but I am, I'm, the concept of it is interesting. TikTok Riz party, huh? Librarian? Yeah, can you, can we get on this? TikTok Riz party? I'm hearing tell of a TikTok Riz party and I wasn't invited. Brother, come on with this. Sorry, no gamers allowed. But Shroud is in there. Oh, it's, we said no gamers. With an S. We can have one gamer. Easiest win of my life. Hold R? What are you talking <laughs> it's the It's the greatest run of all time. What do you mean hold R? That's just not good enough. What's the challenge here? Uh, the challenge is five hand size, which is admittedly really bad. That's all I got. It's really hard. Imagine getting stuntman on this run. <laughs> don't don't threaten me with a good time, brother. Huge, huge. Oh my banana! Honestly, could use a molt molter. Cards previously played this anti are debuffed. See if I care. Hmm. I didn't have anything else to say. 
Reroll for Cavendish. Don't even worry, but don't don't you worry your pretty tiger head. We're gonna get you home to Tyson and your cozy tiger bed. Then we're gonna find our best friend Doug and then we're gonna give him a best friend hug. You need to put your pants on your end. Well, I guess that's kind of the idea, huh? Now that I think about it. Very timely reference, King. Oh, we don't like the Hangover 1 now? We never did. Uh, actually, it's the highest grossing R-rated comedy of all time. Some high card action. Was? What is it now? Joker? Joker's not a comedy. It's Deadpool now. Oh. I'm not even... And, and I mean this... This is not going to get me a lot of... Uh, Plus twos, I'll admit it. Deadpool is easy to make fun of, but is actually fine. I don't know what you want me to say. I, I can't speak for Deadpool 3 because it's not out yet. If anything, it's a testament to Deadpool, the movies being good that they have like the most cringeworthy concept of all time, but it totally works. Now, are they my favorite pictures ever released? No, I'd have to say um, the one where the rocket hits that lady in the face, but the lady is the moon. And then the one where the dude sneezes and then the one where the train uh, like comes straight at the screen. And then probably Spider-Man 2, in that order. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> what about Eraserhead? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's fine if you're, like, in heaven or whatever. Um, um, let, me, let me think. You guys are spoiling my focus here, okay? Dump it. How about how about one pair? How about one pair? How about none pairs? How about Does this mean anything to you? It's the greatest hand ever played. seen Chris Hansen but he's hungry I don't even know how to parse the the scent I don't even know how to answer the question have you seen Chris Hansen but he's hungry <laughs> have you see it's a video it's the funniest video ever are you telling me it's funnier than not today motherfucker because that one is a is a classic man I'd say it's on par. On par with Not Today Motherfucker, huh? That's... That's a big... That, those, are, those are big words. That's all I'm going to say about that. Those are big words, fucker. High card may win. So why don't we fucking play... Two pair anyway, so at least we increment our multis. Maybe it makes no sense. It's uncommon, but it's simply, it's not my tempo. It doesn't fit. What role would you have on a movie set? I think you'd be a good location manager. Okay, let me think about that one for a second. Um, mm, star? Star would be my first guess. If not star, director. I really feel like maybe I'm there's no maybe involved. I'm actually like completely ignorant to Hollywood completely. Um, but it seems like being a casting director is the easiest job of all time. You don't even do the acting. You just sit at a table and judge people and then you go, hmm, yeah, yeah, after a thousand auditions, who are we gonna put in our fucking shitty AI generated movie? Hmm, Chris Pratt, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and no disrespect, they have like they always have like a the the designation after their name. Like a doctor. Like when I go to my dermatologist, it's like, you know, doctor whatever, MD. What is why does a casting agent have the the descriptor? Would they go to fucking the Harvard of casting Ryan Reynolds in self-aware wink nod movies that break the fourth wall? Like just doesn't seem right to me, man. It just is, I mean, I guess I'm disrespecting the casting directors. I'm just, I, I, I personally, I don't buy it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm just tired of Ryan Reynolds. I hear you, and I'm going to say something. I don't really care if this offends people. I got nothing against them on a personal... I'm, I'm tired of Ryan Reynolds, too. And it, he seems like a perfectly affable gentleman. I'm not trying to, you know, ruin his life or whatever. What I will say is, as well, I'm kind of tired of, of Ryan Gosling, too. Am I able to say this? And I, I he's been in some great stuff. But I'm just, I don't know, now I'm at the point almost where, like, every time I see Ryan Gosling, I'm kind of like, this bloke again. It's not jealousy, it's just like, I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm just kind of sick of him, I guess. <laughs> Fastest plus two to minus two ever. I don't even know really where it came from. I think it's like, you know... I think it's because I've seen two movies in theaters in the past six weeks for the first time since 2019. And both times they played the four and a half minute long trailer for, um, oh, what is it called? The movie where he's the stuntman, but then he has to become the fucking actor. And they had the fall guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Emily Blunt doesn't want anything to do with him, but somehow in the trailer they're like making out and like banging and stuff like that. And then, like, also, he's in The Gray Man. I watched The Gray Man, and I was like, he's this... I'm just not... I feel like, as an actor, he's, like, okay, but the roles are going, like, like up and down. Ryan Reynolds, I, I find more annoying than Ryan Gosling, for sure, because Ryan Reynolds doesn't have a single uh, Blade Runner 2049 in his catalog. I mean, I guess as long as I'm, like, making enemies. <laughs> Sorry. Or La La Land, that's true. As long as I'm making enemies, I feel like Ryan Reynolds is kind of like the Canadian version of The Rock. Like, as soon as I, I see him in a movie, I'm like, I just, there's just no chance, right? There's no chance this is going to be great. It might be okay, but there's no chance it's going to be great. There's a 0% chance. You like Ryan Reynolds more than The Rock? I like him about the same. For me personally. Also, I think Ryan, no disrespect again to Ryan Reynolds. He's a Vancouver hero. Two things to disrespect him, I guess. First off, every time he gives an interview, an interview about his favorite Vancouver restaurant, he always mentions Minerva. I've been there. Listen, it's your favorite Vancouver restaurant. Me, my personal two cents is that you're putting on airs. The restaurant's fine. It might even be good to great. But best Van best restaurant in Vancouver, that's insane. Also, it, it's that, like, in all the movies, he's kind of, like, wink nodding at the camera. But then also, like, in every advertisement for Freedom Mobile and Aviation Gin, he also wink nods at the camera, like like literally everything that he does is self-aware, and you're just like, I get it. I get it, you're you, man! And it's working, don't get me wrong, but... Stop jimming the camera. So true, shout out to John Krasinski. 
I'm getting a, a, my my producer in my earpiece is saying under no circumstances are we sure we're, we're shouting at John Krasinski for being so iconic as Jim Halbert that when you say stop jimming the camera everybody knows what you're talking about. I should have stuck with the hanged man on this one, but well, last we're moving on. What's up? I would rather you didn't on camera. Are you getting just the the way that we I, I was just talking about this earlier in the stream my mid-year resolution I no longer want to use the stream to vent about people IRL okay. for a couple of reasons one is that I think it's a little it's unfair to the person that's getting vented upon to have like a, a slight social situation then pushed out to like 13,000 people and the other one is that, you know, as much as I get annoyed by our daycare provider from time to time, we're on a team. We're, we're both, you know, in the, in the business of raising our daughter. Is that, is that, is that why you talked about my sister's dishwasher? Well, that's, I, I specifically referenced that when I said that was like, I don't want to do that anymore. Oh, after that's growing out, up. After you have bent it out, now that you have light shoulders. I mean, that was, that was eight days ago. My <laughs> wife's in my ear saying people can't change for the better. This is, this is a bad influence, man. <laughs> she caught you? I, she didn't catch me. I, I started the bit by saying, I'll acknowledge that I'm the person who does this the most. <laughs> I did see the photo of the... I went to bed at about 10.45 last night. I woke up this morning at 5.47 a.m. First thing I saw on Discord, my wife sent me a photo of a man with insanely large testicles because he got bit by a mosquito. It was sent at like 11.58 p.m. last night. And I was like, what is, what is she doing? Well, how big was the... I mean, they were so big, they, were, they had descended to touch the ground. It was, I thought it was the uh, leg, it was not. <laughs> they, were, was, they were large enough that, that the sheer weight of them had, had them swaying to the ground. It was like, I, I wouldn't able to fit that. We wouldn't be able to fit that. What do you mean by no, that? I, I would be able to fit in that. Oh, you would be able to fit in that. I see. <laughs> I see what you're saying. I saw, I get the picture. The legendary long balls. It was huge too. I'm just gonna be honest with you, they were the largest balls I've ever seen. And that includes my own and I had a medical condition. <laughs> he did, he did. He got stoned by a mosquito that was infected with parasite. <laughs> and it um, got huge. Me, there, there's no cure for it. me immediately flying to wherever this took place. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny, it's a real disease. It's called Giganto Balls, okay? And there's dozens of us. It's not fun. Why are you laughing? It's not funny. I wasn't laughing. Millions of people annually suffer from elephant balls. It's called maple syrup urine disease. Why doesn't he cut off his testicles? Yeah. Imagine because it would hurt a, an insane amount. Yeah, but then would you jog around those two huge balls that you can even wear pants? I don't know what I would do in this situation, to be honest with you. But I'll tell you one thing for certain, and you can bet the farm on this, that mosquito is not seeing tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll be, I'll interrogate as many mosquitoes as I gotta interrogate to find the one who gave me that shit. I'll be like, listen here. Oh, no, I'll never talk. I'll never talk. <laughs> Make it drink like some really fucked up blood, like from someone whose blood sugar is all over the place. <clears throat> Had enough yet, motherfucker? Had enough? Okay, okay. He's in the swamp. Would you 
Would I cut? Would I surgically remove my testicles if a mosquito that was infected with a parasite bit them and it swole up to the size of a basketball? Yeah. I'd go to the doctor for sure. There's no cure. Step one, I'd go to. I'd ask the doctor for their opinion on it. I definitely wouldn't just get out like a pair of scissors or something. I think I would cut them off. Mine? No, if I had one. Oh, okay. And maybe yours. <laughs> Yay! That'd be a, what if you showed up to, <laughs> to your vasectomy with a prosthetic scrotum with like a beach ball inside of it? And you're like, you're the doctor's like, okay, are you ready for the procedure? And then you like pull up your surgical gown and it's like a, <laughs> a boulder. What do you think he would do? I think he would remove those balls. Yeah, but it would be like a beach ball. He would be like, what? <laughs> He'd be like, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? Mm, okay. And then there's like a copy pasta. And then it was like, it was basically about dry sucking. Dry sucking? Yeah. What is dry sucking? I don't know. It was like, oh my god, he's so hot. I would marry him and dry suck him and do this and do that. And it was copy and paste. It's not dry suck, it's suck him dry. Oh, suck him dry. A dry suck is like, that doesn't sound like. That sounds like something you get after you get your wisdom teeth out. What's the... Wait, what's the other one? Suck him dry? Yeah. You got like no blood in him or something? <laughs> You're close. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a vampire? You dry... You, you suck him dry? There's no blood? He's all dried up? <laughs> <laughs> so you, when it comes to the word suck, you could think of vampires, I wouldn't dispute that. Um, there's other parts of the body you could suck as well. And then you would suck that dry? Until there was nothing left in the tank. Because uh, the tank... Is that why the blue balls were so huge? He might need... He had, he, he, he might need to get on Honkai Star Rail, for all I know. <laughs> he needs to empty his tank? I think well, he's got to empty something. The tank is full. That That's indisputable. I'm going to the moon. What kind of game is Honkai Star Rail? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, didn't, I wasn't going to say bad stuff. I was going to say it's the kind of game that has your wife sending you pictures of a man with elephant balls. That is at not true. An hour and a Those half after. An hour and a half after I already went to bed. Those are not related. Hmm, 185,000 points, huh? Is that all? It's, um. It's, it's like Slay the Spire meets, um. Las Vegas, I think. She's like, she's mad, cause it's she can't disagree. I was out. She wasn't listening. I, what the heck? That planet was called Venus. It's Venus. Was Venus. Venus. It's. You can't make this up. <laughs> Dude, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> she got me. <laughs> I can't even remember what she said when she came down the first. Oh, just she wanted to vent about the daycare. That's fair. I look forward to hearing about it. I mean, I just, you know. You know what happens sometimes, though? Some, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going back on my resolution, okay? But, so, like, my wife does the daycare drop-off, and I do the daycare pickup. So what happens to me a lot of the time is that the daycare provider backseats my wife at the drop-off. And then in the afternoon when my stream is done, 
my wife vents to me about getting backseated by the daycare. And then three hours later, when I pick up my daughter from the daycare, I get exactly the same backseating from the daycare that my wife got in the morning. I'm not saying I have it worse. I'm just saying I do tank a lot of <laughs> psychic damage. <laughs> oh, it's useless. Why not, brother? Why not? And then you deal with chat? Well, it's true. And you've been a little ornery lately, because literally, I mean, like this morning, I was, and this has been going on for weeks. I'm sure other parents can relate. Sorry, Sock and Buskin, you just don't fit in here. You just weren't made for these times. But, um, you know, I, I do a lot of, like, daddy-daughter stuff. Giving her baths, getting her dressed taking her to the potty, you know, feeding her. So this morning I was trying to get her dressed and then I was like, I have to wipe you because she still wears a diaper to bed so she doesn't wet her bed. And she's like, I'm not going to let you wipe me. And I'm like, why? And then she's like, because you're my enemy. And I was like, what are you talking about? Are we really going to, it's like 8.03 in the morning. We're going to start off on that foot today. I'm not allowed to do stuff for you. That's where it, it gets crazy. I'm not allowed to do stuff for you because I'm your enemy. I would love it if you, gave, if you gave yourself a bath, if you wiped your own everything, if you cooked your own breakfast, if you cooked, packed your own lunch, if you cooked your own dinner, blah, 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 blah. But I'm like, I, so now I gotta do the thing for you. And while I'm doing it, you're like, don't do it. You're my enemy. And I'm like, what are we talking about here? I'm your dad, Buzz. Then on the nights when mommy puts her to bed, right before bedtime, everybody's gangster till the lights go out. That's all I'm going to say. Daddy's my enemy. I don't like daddy. Mommy, here's a flower. Daddy, here's some poo-poo. Daddy's my enemy. I love mommy more than daddy. I don't like you anymore. Okay, good night, honey. Three seconds later. Daddy! Daddy! I want daddy! Daddy! I can't go to sleep until... And then... Listen, we don't need to get into it, okay? She's chilling. I mean, she's three and a half. She's working it through. But like, I do like, or rather I should say, I don't mind being the parent that speaks honestly, because I feel like so much parental content out there, people are not gonna like, people with kids are gonna plus two this, and people without kids are gonna be fucking pissed off and troubled. All the parental content on social media is always like, you can never try to adjust your kid's behavior. If your kid's doing something bad, it's your fault. And you can't ever punish them because it'll give them trauma that they'll never get over because they'll never have agency even when they're like middle aged. It's just going to affect them for life. We need some parental content that's like sometimes your kid's just being a little fucking asshole. What you should do is give them a cup of juice and look at your phone for 15 minutes. Because you got to fucking live your life too. Don't get, I'm making sacrifices for our child. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, there's times where, you know, I'm trying to get her dressed and she's like, I don't want to put pants on. I want to just wear my diaper. And I'm like, okay, maybe diaper and a dress. And she's like, no dress. Shirt that I grew out of six months ago. And I'm like, okay, I'll see you in 10 minutes. I'm going downstairs. And then all of a sudden it's daddy, daddy, come here, daddy. I want to play. I'm not playing that game for two hours a night. I'll play it with you for 10 minutes. And then you got to... You got to reach a compromise or I'm just, I'm out for a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I know I'm venting, okay? I'm just saying, I, I feel like there's, it's good to have some realistic depictions of parenthood. Because all the ones, and this is how you know social media is, it's like this for everything, right? When you see the photo of someone on Instagram and they're at the beach with like a drink in their hand, you don't see their credit card balance. 
You don't see how they almost got into like a car accident on the way to the beach and they got into a fight in the Uber or something like that. You just see the beautiful sun and the bikini photos and whatever. The, the parenting stuff on social media is crazy because it'll actually have you think, like your kid will say something like, I hate you. And as the parent, you're like, hmm, what's the most equitab equitable way to resolve this situation? And I'm like, don't say that. That hurts my feelings. And then she's like, I don't care. And then I'm like, okay, I'm eating the ham sandwich downstairs. I'll see you in five minutes. <laughs> I'm a person too. It's not all about you. Okay. Slash marker. Call that Balatro one. Challenges, start new challenge. Golden Needle. Discards cost a dollar? What the hell? This one sucks. <laughs> it sounds pretty bad. The problem is if I if I don't discard, I won't be able to make flushes to get money on this one. Here, we gotta go for this one. We gotta go for this one. I'm gonna try not to discard, but at some point we're, we have one hand. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> that's tricky. Everything in the next shop is free. That seems like it goes crazy. We only have one hand, we need 600 points. We're gonna need a joker of some sort. Let's, does this cost me $5 or $1? $1. Okay, that's merciful at least. We have one hand, forgot about that part. <laughs> one hand. You probably can't skip the first blind. You need to play a flush with high cards on the first blind. Next time, we, we'll get him next time, kid. You play a flush with high cards on the first blind. And then get a joker and go from there. You can play. We need high card flush, we don't have it. So instead, we fish for a straight. We fish for a straight fishing. And now I've discarded four of a kind with five, so that's kind of sick. That's kind of, okay. Okay, you know what? Probably just restart this. Oh, that's true, low straight won't work either. <laughs> Possibly good flush potential. Horrendous flush potential. Not even a flush. Not a flush. Still not a flush. <laughs> That's four cards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. After all of that. Okay. Okay. That's a high straight. It could make it, bro. Yes! Okay, how about a joker? Hmm. <laughs> hmm, the two best jokers in the game you shouldn't have. I mean, we need some fucking gas, bro. Eight, nine, molted. A money generator. You know what? I suppose. We, I, at this point, there's no reason not to take a charitable view of things, I suppose. I mean, we gotta play at least a straight. Hmm. Easy. Hold six, seven, eight. 
discard three of these to make money. It makes perfect sense, bro. Discard seven, six. Discard nine. We're rich, bro. Discard this. Can I have a straight, please? It's actually maybe a good enough full house. I lived. They're all evens. Don't even sweat it, bro. Ain't nothing but a peanut. Something like this could help us out. And you know what? While we're in, we're in. That would have been that would have been nice. Let's make full houses better. Boss blind. All hearts are debuffed. Unfortunate, I suppose. <laughs> I'm just sending it. I, I believe the Malt will carry us. It's that easy. I need, I need to keep Faceless Joker for now. I guess I, at some point I do want clearance sale. Hearts are good. A hard flush would go crazy. On the other hand, money's on sale. Plenty of discards. You gotta you gotta leverage your discards. Five, six, seven, eight, nine also happens to be a straight with several odds in it. You got the wall? I ain't sweating the wall. We got we got plenty of gas for the wall, bro. Don't even worry about that guy. And I'm rich. <laughs> hmm. Don't mind if I do. Let's let's get some odds. On hearts. All right, it's gonna seem like a crazy play. I got ideas, bro. I got ideas. Trust me. Okay, okay. Having money ain't everything, not having it is. I mean, what are they gonna do? Make me more broke? All we need to do is get a wait, how are we gonna get a get how are we gonna get a spectral pack? We should have put an odd first. I actually think we just ride these jokers till the end of the game, bro. Extra large blind. I'll tell you straight up, I missed the part where that's my problem. It's simple. Ace, 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 five, five. Only one of the cards is not goaded. We got a, the perfect card in the perfect position. Give it a second. We will never be able to afford anything for a minute here. So just, just relax. First, we got to get out of the hole. Next step is is take as many antis as required to get your your econ sorted. Next one start with zero discards. Yeah, but at least we have one hand. <laughs> what? I honestly thought we were cruising, bro. I thought we were cruising. 
28 short. I thought we had our odd first, right? We had an ace first. Has to be done. Has to be done. Has to be done. We get there for sure. <clears throat> Eleven dollars and pure detritus. This is like a restart, bro. <laughs> See you in hell, local thunk. I think we can make it on a on a spade flush. Don't be shy now. Easy make. Easy. Oh, <laughs> we needed like a five instead of a four, bro. Gun to your head. 2x Pimpy or 3x Bape. Gun to my head. I'm going 12x Seuss, 9x Grinch, okay? I reject the premise. How can you 15x? I think you just put a 5x on a 3x, right? This makes it so easy. I told you. Hmm. A joker. So that's that's a leg up on where we used to be. 10 molt on a flush. We'll give it a chance. Okay, this is so makeable. Ace, two, three, four, five. With these, with these lads getting Kira fonted. Ace, two, three, four, five. This gets us there, guaranteed. Wasn't even close. Plus two hand size, minus one hands per round. I just gotta see what happens. <laughs> I just gotta know. Hmm. Wild Ace. We do a little bit of trolling. They, they're still letting me play. Big mistake. I mean, we got two, three, four, five, bro. We got to give that a chance. We have ace, two, three, four, five. But we can't make it a straight flush yet, and we need to make it a straight flush. Or we could just play a flush, but I really want the tarot card. We need one more diamond. Like, one more diamond in the path of totality. That's it right there. Ace, three, four... Ace, two, three, four, five. Ooh! I don't know. I mean, Bloodstone seems like it's an amazing joker. The problem is, I'm, we're, not, we're on a different path. We're on a different path. Double my money. Nice try, Satan. I mean, it would be nice to draw better stuff. If we're going to continue to try to make super position work, cutting some nines would go crazy. But I need to first use the fool so that it's easier for us to make a... a oh, one of them was a diamond. Eh, maybe it's okay. Level up straight flush, I guess. This seems fucked up, bro. Free Spectral Pack. Mm. Okie dokie. 
a straight flush deck? Um, well, listen, I wouldn't get your hopes up just yet. That being said, I think we got another one. Another straight flush, that is. Ace, two, three, four, five. Hmm, that's a good one. <laughs> you got you gotta try something. Now here's where things get a little tricky. <laughs> We have no flat malt, which is not good. It needs to be a straight flush, bro. We have this straight, we need this straight flush. It simply has to be a straight flush. We're so close. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Yes, this is the way. I knew he was in there. So worth for the tarot card. Moon card could be useful for making a straight flush at some point. We get on base. That's all you need to know is we get on base. This is a tough one. <laughs> it's a tough position. Can we go any broker than this? Sell your cards? You just chill for a damn second, okay? Let me look at this. 140 times 11. That's not 2800. But what if you were to add 11? 13, 15, 19. 54 chips. It's not enough. Now, if this isn't enough, we basically just say, you got me, Walter White style. We need the money, bro. We need the money. Easy. <laughs> Flat malt. Flat malt, I cannot afford unless I were to sell, but I'm not selling. I'm not selling superposition or troubadour. It's not gonna happen, okay? It's not gonna happen. You can afford. You're right. I can't. I don't know how to do math. Yo, DL Guigo, welcome back. I knew if we did some arithmetic, we'd see you soon. You know what? We've been having better odds on the low straights. Keep one, two, in case you get a good tarot card. Ace, two, four. We do have six, seven, eight, ten. I think, I mean, I, I think we're pot committed to superposition, quite frankly. We have ace, two, three, four. We have ace, ace, two, three, three, four, five. But it's not the right five. I simply believe harder than you do. A strength card. <laughs> wait, wait a second. The thing is, it might screw up my shit forever. But if I need to use it to survive temporarily, then I need to use it to survive temporarily. Easiest game of my life. Negative eighteen dollars, huh? Well, 
What do you think about selling credit card and using judgment? <laughs> oh, man. Terrible idea. Oh, you're right. Diamond multi. Diamond multi. We'd have to sell super position. We have, you know what? Sell it. You go to $16, sell judgment, buy greedy joker. And then make sure your boss blind doesn't kill you instantly. It's pretty bad. It's pretty horrible. <laughs> okay. Super position, you just gotta know, it sucks ass. The more you use it, the less you're gonna wanna use it. This must be a king of something. Perhaps the king of wishful thinking. We must play diamonds. So f dump all your obvious dumps first. This is, we're going high straight on this one. Really? You know there's a ten of diamonds in this bitch. <laughs> Could be this. <laughs> Mm, it's gonna take a lot to get you there. See ya. <laughs> mm, you're right, it's not a diamond. Okay, good to know. It's all we got, bro. It's all we got. You send it. Sell Troubadour. I like it, though. Oh! Okay, but now we can never buy anything. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because our next shop's going to be free. But how the hell are we? No, it's so easy. Skip everything in the shop's going to be free. Play a straight flush. And get the best jokers of all time. Dump it. I'm going to, I'm sorry, I got to dump it. it. It has to be done. We're we're between two ferns here. We are. We got okay. We got we're one away in this direction. We got ace, three, four, five. Dump the two. Hold on to the rest for the potential diamond flush. Ace two three four five. Okay. Not good enough. Hello, Dan Giesling. Hello, thank you for the raid. It's a heck of a challenge, man. Did you, have you done this one yet, Dan? You get one hand, discards cost you a dollar each. I'm gonna take a chance on it. You start here. That's kind of crazy, bro. And then, Double your money. Could be better. <laughs> flush will not get us to 450. So you got a nut up here. We need four of a kind or a straight flush. There is a six left in this deck, okay? Yes! Yes! Okay, now we absolutely... By the way, thank you for the raid. We absolutely have to buy... This is a big one. Buy, the, buy this first. We play as many... Cl club flushes would go insane. Because we bought that, Temperance, it's only a dollar better. I might even stall on that for a moment. Hoping we got another judgment. Chips would go crazy, but I'll tell you what, I'll settle for another club as, as decroted as it is. 
five extra bucks. God is my witness, I snooze it. Chariot card, valuable. One club full house, to me, means we don't make it. But if you just go for the club flush, you will make it. If we get the flush. <laughs> we did. We didn't. <laughs> this should make it, though. With two clubs giving us eight mult times 1.5. Why would you put it on the eight, bro? <laughs> At least there's a club in this one. Holy cow. We may. Oh! Whatever, we cleared it easily. <laughs> Abstract Joker for $3. Easiest purchase of my entire life. Maybe you go Jumbo Buffoon first. Normally I'd go Spectral, but we gotta. We're in a different world here. Honestly, brother, this is, this is tough, okay? Constellation normally is the pick, but we're not gonna be buying any planets. I'm kind of thinking it's $4 at the end of every round. Or Lusty Joker, so we're a little more flexible, but at least this gives us a bit of a window. Then you buy this. You're given 15 mults. Use this, we get $8. Use this, Spectral Pack. I'm not destroying this many clubs, but I will add some enhanced cards. Sure, sure. Maybe we'll never play them, but you gotta do something. Give me $20, we play, we, we want as many tarot cards as possible. It happens. Ten, 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 three, three. Okay, good baseline. Decent full house gets us there. We have the money to actually purchase things. I'm not, I don't think I'm buying hone, man. I just don't think we're ever gonna get that econ. Immolate, there's only three clubs in hand. I would send it. We destroyed two clubs. Literally not sweating it, not even worried. Now I will buy hone. Let's save a little bit. I can't believe the Econ is like doing something here. Devil card, don't mind it. Don't mind it. I think you go club flush. I'm dumping the steel, we, we need the flush. Crazy. We still want the club flush more than anything else, but three extra dollars never hurt anybody. This run actually has a chance. It only takes one mistake to fuck it up, or one horrible boss blind, though. We only get to play one hand per thing. This is no good. But credit card can actually go. Something I never thought would, would ever happen on this run. Uh, more clubs would have been sick, too. But this is... Dude, we got, we got Econ, bro! I don't know if club flushes will keep us going forever. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. Obviously, we could get 20 bucks, but I think we gotta... We gotta club this son of a gun up a little bit. I can't believe I'm re-rolling. It's like a new era. You're, you're hollow, so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna buy you and use you. Not what we want. Because you're hollow, for six bucks, we buy you any day of the week. That's 10 free mult. We go next. All hearts are debuffed. Club flush probably gets us there. At the risk of being insane. We just added 10 mult. Club flush gets you there. You don't need to play Mr. Glass yet. You don't need to play him yet. Club Joker's next on the block. It's 20 molt max. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Should I get rid of my best Joker? 
versus the, the, the plus 20 versus the plus 15 versus the plus 10 versus the plus zero versus the plus zero. What do you think about that one? <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to highlight. I'm just saying. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. There's no doubt about that. But the clubs are eternal, bro. The clubs are eternal. I just don't see it happening. Well... It's tough. It is money. It is money. You could sell Golden Joker and buy Midas Mask. I don't... I think it's bait. I think it's bait for me. So, remind oneself. What do we do? We play club flushes, we drink and we know things. Tyrion Lannister, bitch. Or do we play fucking four of a kind, bro? Flush is 35 times four, but you get four extra malt. Get less malt off of this. Shh. It's more fun. It's more fun to play four of a kind. It's that simple. Insane play. Seltzer? Seltzer is very nice. I wish, brother. I wish. But I honestly think we're dumping, buying, selling, buying, just work with me for a moment here. Many, many viable options. Many people are saying this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it steady for the moment. Buying and rolling once. We chill. We chill on this. Death card. Things you absolutely love to see. Things you don't love to see, no clubs. Things you don't love to see. No clubs. We're going to get the flush. We got, we got six discards. It's mathematically impossible not to get the flush. I will. It's not even juiced, bro, and I don't care. That's how good it is. And then... No, no, no. Discards aren't free. They cost a buck oh five. Thirteen thousand. Keep that in mind. Thirteen thousand. Thirteen thousand. Nah. Ten. Well, t ten molt. If you play two eights, you get a planet. Probably beats runner at its own game. Who you call him, Bucko? Look, I'm not trying to be serious like that. Okay. That being said, I do have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'll be back in just a sec. One second. Okay, we're back. Fast piss. Listen, we don't have time for all this rigmarole, okay? You're gone. You're in. Jupiter for the moment. Roll, and I don't care about, well, actually having some chips at some point would probably be kind of sick. Whatever. Decreased level of played poker hand. That's annoying. Um, 
What a what a what an original draw though. I think you gotta discard. It's very easy for us to create a straight flush. Even if we lose a little money, straight flush getting debuffed is better for us than like anything else getting debuffed long term. We gotta think about the future here. And honestly, if it happens, it happens. Yeah, this is this is smart. This is smart, bro. This is smart. We basically said we don't care about the arm and my shit didn't break to begin with and I'm rich anyway. All money me now. Are we ready to wheel post? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm ready to wheel post. It's either that or temperance or maybe lucky cards early would be kind of, well, relatively early would be kind of sick. We send it. Moon me. Number one mistake I see Balatro players make. Just kidding. I don't watch anybody else play Balatro. But if I did, I imagine they throw away hand enabling cards on Arcana packs when instead they could just be using them uh, in the actual game itself to create the straight flush of their dreams. I think I still snooze on the chips. I'm sorry to say it, but I think I still snooze on the chips. Pokemon Raid. Hello, Pichow Pokemon Raiders. Welcome. In many ways, Balatro is kind of like the Pokemon of cards. You got your water types. You got your... Mr. Mimes, you know? I remember when I played Pokemon, Pokemon Showdown. Those were the days. Those were the days. Start here. We're doing a challenge right now, by the way, in case you're like, why does everything look horrible? If you're familiar with Balatro, you might say, why does your run look so decroted? And you wouldn't be wrong. There is some decrosion here, but the challenge is you only get one hand and every discard costs you a dollar. You might say that's no big problem because you got $62. You have, I created the $62, okay? I created it. Das Boro, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to create a super club. The Spade Joker is, is interesting to me just because it molts our molt. Like we could get rid of 10 molts and then we'd have 40 for now. 55 molt times 1.5 definitely crushes plus 10 molt for no other reason. So sure, we'll hold it for now and then we'll, we'll see how the mood strikes us. A club that double triggers. Sometimes we do play flushes. You know what? You got to use this. Buy the devil card. Then go next. No repeat hand type this round. Oh, that's uh, I missed the part where that's my problem. I'm dumping this. I don't, I don't care for it. Keep the seven. Keep the seven. And look at this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, with a golden card in hand. All I can say is that at some point, they're going to be forced to give me a good hand. Thoughts on Alexander Ovechkin? DL Guiga says, fuck Alexander Ovechkin. DL Guiga, I didn't know that you knew ball. I mean, puck. Maybe that's just the stereotype that I have about um, people from the proud city of Chicago, though. I, don't, I started following hockey last year. Insanely based uh, for a someone who lives in Chicago to start following. Ignore the... 
history of the Chicago Blackhawks when they were winning Stanley Cups and buy low. We respect that. We buy low. No one could ever accuse you of, of hopping on the bandwagon. Hey, do we get here with a level 10 flush, by the way? Looks like I just sort by freaking suit, huh? I think we probably do, right? Be nice to buy a new seltzer. I follow Vegas, though. Oh, I should have known. <laughs> I should have known. Uh, I could accuse you of being a, a... Well, I guess I can't say that I accuse you of being a bandwagoner. I'm a simple man. Cryptid goes crazy, but red seal on a club is going to be worth a lot. That's going to be worth a lot. I snooze on those. Yes, I'm a wild fan. Yes, I know we suck. So what we don't score? So what we don't save? So what we get sober? So what we smoke nothing? You know what? I mean, we might, our no, discards cost us a dollar each, bro. This ain't your grandpa's Balatro, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, straight flush with a steel in hand. Club's Joker's so bad, it's kind of embarrassing. It's carrying the run. Is it embarrassing when it's the hardest challenge in gaming history? We could easily level up high card. I don't think it's that kind of run, though. I mean, this isn't the Balatro you're used to. No disrespect, no disrespect. This is not white steak plasma deck, okay? I understand that's probably, you've, you've screwed up your brain chemistry just running that and thinking you're actually good at it. <laughs> We're doing something a little different here. We're Costco guys. Of course we degrade the people that provide us our standard of living. <laughs> caught! Caught! I'll dump one steel. We gotta, we gotta look for something here. This will make it without a doubt. Our tens are goaded. We are doing a sponsored stream. It'll probably start just after noon, which means we'll go a little late today. If by some chance we don't die just randomly. Take Immolate, most annoying comment of all time. Do you see Immolate? Do you even see a spectral pack? Do you see anything that indicates that we're even sniffing at the possibility of an Immolate coming into existence? Like, what are you, what are you talking about? Are you boycotting Superstore? I am by virtue of it. I don't even know what the boycott would be about, but by virtue of it not being um, the closest grocery store to me. If that's what you mean, then yeah, I'm boycotting it. I would just like to, just like to possibly get better, to just possibly get better cards. I just don't know if it's probably 22,000. It's gotta be good enough, man. It's gotta be good enough. Oh! The red seals of destiny. And it was barely good enough. How many more seltzer procs we got? Don't even sweat it, brother. You know I got two of those. Cryptid this lad. <laughs> now take Immolate. Listen, listen, listen. This is a scary time for us. That's a that's a decent card, especially because we're chipless. Not a good card. Not a good card for us right now. It's insane. Okay, so you sell. I'm sorry, Cardomancer. It's time.
because we need we need two joker spaces we need two we need two because we got to get this shit pumping asap okay i'm just oh hang on i just got to send one message real quick because i didn't expect we'd still be alive at this point started like five minutes like 15 minutes late just finishing this ballot trail run Keep Cardos, sell Taros. But then I'm burning up all my econ, bro, on rerolls. I can't be burning up my econ on rerolls. You need the, the campfire demands fuel. It's that simple. I'm not selling malt. We need the malt. It, no, you, you guys have it backwards. You got it backwards. You got it back. I'm not, I'm not getting rid of... I'm not getting rid of this. Well, actually, maybe, well, maybe it's time to... Uh, you know what? Maybe I could be persuaded to get rid of that, actually. Okay, okay. We sell seltzer. So what we sell seltzer? We buy campfire. We sell arrowhead. We buy this. We buy this. We don't sell this yet. Maybe we, you know what? We, we never play spades. Of course we do. 80 chips, actually semi-useful joker. Now we got a problem. Cardomancer is gonna create something. Well, in that case, why don't we sell use two cells could be worse could could certainly be worse ain't nothing wrong with that you're wild too holy cow i'll be honest with you i might be the simplest man that's ever existed i think you just send it save as much money as possible for campfire fuel I just had the vibes that we were not in trouble on that one. So now we don't really need to fuel campfire unduly right now. We can we can afford to scale in other directions for the moment. Like more guaranteed chips. Sure, we could have high priestess and sold two cards. We don't need it. That molt is not necessary at the moment. Worth. Worth. Very worth. Now you want to immolate? Listen here, buddy. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're going to beat the challenge on the first try? Roll me. Buy, sell. Buy, sell. Oh, you want my advice on beating this challenge? It's pretty easy. Just get a polychrome version of the best Joker in the game by pure chance. I mean, I guess we might as well gold something. Take Immolate? This guy's got a problem. Mods? Show him a picture of what his parents are going to look like when they're old. Interesting, but not really what I'm gunning for. Play only one hand type this round. <laughs> That's a tough one. Interesting. I mean, I, I got a level with you. We do have a lot of money and we probably will till the end of the run. 168 chips, kind of crazy. Oh, that's the one I just beat. <laughs> wow, we're straight chilling. Don't even worry about it. <clears throat> Honestly, I mean, I'm not sweating it. That's what I would say about that. I would say I'm not sweating it. Sell. Me personally, I'd say I'm not sweating it as a result of this incredible bull. That being said, let's not be crazy. <laughs> we were making it. That took us from a 1.5 to a 2, but just in, that was a just in case me. We're not going Hemomancer. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. Mm -mm. A wild boy? Duran Duran voice? 
Wild Boys. You know the, the song I'm talking about? It's called Wild Boys. Something, something. You know, you don't know Durandir. Of course you don't. It's all a spectacle to you. Explaining the joke. It's a song by Duran Duran. Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. You're great because you give me a, a guilt-free joker spot, bro. Michael McDonald voice, so true. He came from somewhere back in a long ago. <laughs> so the family did that he did in his life. How can Michael McDonald hit the high notes and also hit the low notes, bro? Like Michael McDonald can hit the, he can hit the fucking she, and then he can hit the, most of the time his voice is like, you know. Lower. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna belabor the point by doing an impression. You know what it's like. 13 bucks. I clean my toilet with $13. I'm just a little scared. <laughs> I think I made a good decision. <laughs> Huge start. Huge start. Most played hand must be flush. It is indeed. It's also our currently played hand. We win. We win these. Knocking this challenge out feels great, man. skip these banana will break it would honestly be fantastic you're worried about banana breaking huh that's the thing that bothers you banana breaking how do you feel now how do you feel about that shit how do you feel about this how do you feel about this motherfucker right here how do you feel about that? I'm kind of hoping to get like a <laughs> flat mold enabler at some point. Maybe something like this can hold for a second. Everything We're just chilling though. Don't even sweat it, man. You're ruining your bowl? Oh, yeah, well, how about that? That should make up for that, I suppose. How about some good clubs? Thank you. One good club? You're embarrassing me. Now we're starting to talk. I do see that you guys are wild, but I, I need something a little wilder. And I'm not talking about Van. <coughs> Gene? Gene Wilder? Who's that? Is he the guy from Kiss? Negative Steel Card Joker? Yeah, sure, I suppose. My advice on this challenge, I'd say it's pretty simple. Um, it's hard to defend against uh, getting insanely lucky. Like, just watch this. They don't want you to have clips. They don't want you to have clips. They don't want you to take new tropics. Rolling. They don't want you to mouth tape. <laughs> Forces one card to always be selected. Not even sweating, can I tell you why? We'll just use this moon card to turn it into a club, bro. If it's not a club already. Or you could discard it. Okay, we both brought up two viable solutions. Why did you say it condescendingly? Bull 07. Not nah, honestly, you guys are haters. I dance with the one who brought me. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't have. <laughs> mm. 
Well, well, well. Looks like I own you, little bro. <laughs> you ever consider just getting a random polychrome version of the best Joker in the game? And then also a negative version of, like, maybe the eighth the best Joker in the game? What a sad story. Shouldn't you have made a steel card for the steel Joker? Shouldn't you be working in like a wastewater treatment plant in Frankfurt or something like that? You're wasting your talents, bro. 117 million IQ, bro said my hyperfixation is backseating streamers on Twitch. Go work for NASA, man. We need you. You're wasting your, a man of your talents? It's a simple life. NASA doesn't pay? Okay, fucking go work for Blue Horizons then, okay? I'm just saying. I don't want to be put on to Mars, but if you could w put somebody on the Mars and I could watch it on TV, that would be sick. I would be, like, inspired, but I would probably cry. Slash marker, that's Balatro. Give me a moment here to get set up. If Local Thunk asked you to help design Balatro too, would you? That's like um, asking like uh, one of those basketball team fan accounts if they want to like suit up for the Milwaukee Bucks for the day. You <laughs> do. Five foot seven, 48 year old man with a beer gut standing next to Giannis Antetokounmpo. I love to. Did you see the one where they, people were dunking on one of the fan accounts and they said, like, you don't know ball, post your jump shot? And then he actually posted his jump shot, but like, he had the most cooked form of all time. And also, you're like, what does it matter? You just, you could have taken a hundred takes to get it in the basket. Anyway, that's, anyway. Sorry. Who's your MVP this year? Um, I mean, it depends on how you see most valuable player. For me personally, I have to give it to SGA, just because nobody took the, uh, the Thunder seriously. Jokic, obviously, he's, he's incredible, but the... The Nuggets have a supporting cast. Same thing with Luka Doncic. They have a supporting cast. Embiid clears. Yeah, clears uh, his physical maybe now that his meniscus has healed itself. He's not, Embiid isn't even the most valuable player on the, on the Sixers this year. That's uh, 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 um, 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 Maxi. It's Tyrese Maxey, bro. Okay, sorry. I said give me a moment, and then I didn't make any progress on doing what I was going to do. <laughs> shadows of Doubt. New Shadows of Doubt update just dropped. Exclamation point shadows. Hashtag advertisement. I need your help with this, okay? Because when I did Shadows of Doubt a year and a half ago, would be my guess, I didn't make a whole lot of progress in solving the case, okay? I don't want you to just give me the tools, but I may occasionally need some help. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, no help. I'm gonna keep it $1.50 with you. Everybody on this streamer is a gift. Every person is trying their best and no one betrays you. It's all in your head. Uh, what was it? I'm gonna keep it $1.50 with you. Everybody on this platform is a saint. I mean, these streamers are peerless. Okay. Super excited to be 
returning to shadows of doubt from well, let me see what this Twitter account is here at detective sim today to check out I just want to make sure I get the verbiage 100% correct the sharpshooter assassin update come watch here copy and paste is your friend uh, I can type faster than you can copy and paste and that scales for every possible length of, of string. I promise you that. Five characters, I beat you. I'm living in a different planet. 300 pages, I'll race you. I'll be sipping espresso when you finally hit that last character key, okay? I'm gonna keep it a buck 50 with you. I type it in infinity words per second. My words per minute is like uh, the time it takes to complete a task. It scales to the amount of time I have or something. So true. I, that's one of the things I've learned online and probably one of the only things I've learned online that I still believe. The time it takes to complete a task is directly proportional to the time you're given to complete the task. If someone handed you a vacuum cleaner and said, vacuum your room right now, it would be done in four minutes. If someone said, hey, I'm going to work. Can you vacuum your room before I get home? Eight hours. Seven hours and 56 minutes of playing League of Legends, four minutes to vacuum. Simply not possible. <laughs> Can you vacuum right now? Yes. I'm leaving. Can you do the dishes before I get home? Ah, I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> I don't want to make a promise I don't I can't keep. Why isn't it possible? Well, it's a joke because you like you lose focus. You're like, I don't have to do it right away. So even though it would only take a minute, I'm not going to do it right away. And then you're like, you know, I'll do it later. Don't even worry about it. Then like eight hours go by and you're like, I didn't take the chicken out of the freezer. Constraints are funny like that. So true. It works. It's working. Hey, Kalenator, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Shadows of Doubt. Wake up, honey. I was going to say new Detective Sim just dropped, but that's not the case. Shadows of Doubt entered 1.0 earlier within the trailing 12 months. We played it. I recall playing it. I recall the, putting the push pins with the clues on the board and drawing the context between them and writing notes and then like trying to break into an apartment building but then like falling out of the vent and breaking both of my legs and getting shot to death. Um, we're going to try to be a little bit better this time. I do have to start by saying this is a sponsored stream. Thank you again for the sponsorship. Fireshine Games and Shadows of Doubt. This is to celebrate 1.0 release of Shadows of Doubt continuing, but also the new Sharpshooter Assassin update dropped today. Now, will we get to access this? Time will tell. They may put me back in the tutorial mission as a result of my um, previous mediocrity. You might say, what is Shadows of Doubt? Shadows of Doubt is the only authentic detective simulator. When I played it the first time, I, I thought of it like Deus Ex meets 
Colombo, if that makes sense. So you're going into different places. You're breaking into domiciles. You're rifling through their stuff, looking at their personal information, finding a phone number, going to a phone, beep, 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 calling the phone. It'll be like, hey, this is the, you've reached the residence of Jerry Maguire. And then I accept. Hang on, chat, read this real quick. I'm going to read this real quick. Okay, we got it. New game. We have to go sandbox. We already did the dead of night. I'm just asking chat to help me out as well, okay? Select city. Charlotte Heights. Population 326. This is where the average chatter lives when they tell me I'm out of touch. They're like, nobody I know watches Shogun. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Continue. Player name, Evie Werner. Player name, Sonia Morozov. Player name, Lauren Barnett. Player name... Nelson Beard, that's me. Game difficulty, I'm just going to be honest with you. Easy is probably where we want to be. <laughs> I'm just... I, I played two hours on normal and I got kind of... I got stuck in a situation that even Jason Bourne couldn't get out of. So I'm going to keep it up on easy this time, okay? By the way, exclamation point shadows, or if you're watching on YouTube, video description will give you a link that you can click on to go check out the game for yourself. It's on Steam with very positive reviews. It is the late 20th century. So true. Hyper-industrialization has swept the planet. The old Bourbon Empire has crumbled, giving way to the United Atlantic States and the first elected mega corporation president in history, Starch Cola. <laughs> Alex Garland be like, write that down, write that down. As sea levels rise, cities have become polluted islands. Workers dream of escaping to the fields an exclusive retirement district few will ever see. Me thinking I'm going to quit my streaming job and open a bakery despite having never made a, a loaf of bread in my life. Rival corporations vie for power, policed by the privatized starch cola enforcers. Papa John's franchisees when they forget to print we proudly serve Pepsi products on our pizza boxes. Hey, I don't want to distract from things. I can't believe I haven't even talked about this yet. My wife and I ordered DoorDash last night. You might say, NL, don't you uh, smack talk DoorDash users all the time? Yeah, but I'm nothing if not a hypocrite. And sometimes my wife wants one particular variety of Korean fried chicken that isn't in our neighborhood. I'm not going to drive to it. We use it. I'm not going to bury the lead. She got a, a ping that said, enjoy your meal. No photo of the drop off or anything. I looked around our entire outside of our house. I did like a full perimeter check. No food. The, the driver must have gotten enticed by the, the smell of the Korean fried chicken in the car and just said, yoink, <laughs> like this is, I'm quitting my job and I'm taking your lunch with me. Based? It's not really based. We did get a refund though, which was nice. Hang on, I'm at, I'm at Pickett Heights. We're chilling in here. I'm looking at my map. I'm leaning. I'm pressing enter. I'm pressing space. I'm remembering the key to open up my clue book. I'm reading newspapers. Added a newspaper to my inventory. Is this Minecraft? Dan, does Minecraft have red dice in it? A traditional six-sided dice using games of chance? <laughs> okay. Chad, I need, I need your guidance. How do I discover when something's afoot? When something is rotten in the state of Denmark? Smell it. Look at the bottom of your legs. I can't, okay? Talk to people, go to City Hall. There's a cork board of quests. 
would you would you be so inclined as to tell me where the Cork Board of Quests is, or is this uh, is this privileged information? It's at City Hall. Okay, easy. Now, if I were City Hall, <laughs> where would I be? Let me take a look at the size. This is how it works in a real city. Before you lose, or b before Google Maps existed, you just had to look at signs, man. You had to feel your way around the world. Can't even walk down the darn street anymore. What's your problem? Hey, have you experienced any crimes lately? In this city? Good joke. Though I did see someone acting odd. Okay. They had long black hair hair. I saw them today at Macon Street around 6.15 p.m. Okay. They were nearby Carlson Boulevard. Headed to Robinson Parade. Looked pretty manic. Do you know this person? I am arresting you on suspicion of murder. Oh, I, I thought you were talking about the other person. Never mind. Um, got any spare change? Sure, anything to help. It's that easy. <laughs> yes! Little life hack. At the end of every conversation, hey, got any spare change? Okay, Macon Station. Hang on, first things first. Don't, don't worry about me, okay? I'm, <coughs> pardon me, I'm just chilling right now. I'm gonna take a look at my settings briefly. I would like to look at my keyboard controls. Flashlight is middle mouse. Sprint is shift, crouch is C, jump is space. Weapon select menu X. Zoom axis on mouse wheel. Quick save. Create string. Okay. Your notebook is on F1. New custom case. New sticky note. Select no case. Sync disks. That's how we upgrade, right? Like, yeah, Deus Ex style. Notebook. Red dice. Traditional game used in red dice. Connection. <laughs> F to open that menu. Thank you. And then the, the only other thing I got. How do I zoom out on my map? Go back to the tutorial. We don't need the tutorial. The tutorial needs us. Hang on. Scroll. Listen, I tried that, buddy. Place it down and walk backwards. You got me thinking. Yeah, chat, you're supposed to be my tutorial. Because when I started playing it, everyone was like, oh my god, I love this game. And now that I'm playing it, I'm like, hey, what button do you press to jump? And people are like, oh, it, uh, I'm, we're not going to tell you. Like, what, what gives, man? City Hall is the tallest building normally. Now you're, you're city-splaining to me? That's not even true, bro. Do you have a hotel in your city? The K Kingston, Ontario posting. You're freezing to death. Okay, say no more. This is shivering. When I'm freezing to death, one thing that I like to do is go inside. And then maybe, you're not a person. <laughs> maybe you could give me some information. Maybe I could steal your lock pick. Thank you, sir. Could we have a conversation? Oh, another dice. How convenient. How convenient. Another dice. The dice killer is on the case. Hello. Have you seen or heard anything unusual? Nothing. I find that hard to believe. I'll tell you what. 
How about now? Fist print scanner. He turned him back on. Scan the fingerprints on this to, to steal the code. Type A belongs to who? Belongs to who? Let me take a look at this keypad briefly. Type A chatter was here. Type A chatters rise. Okay, chatters, help me. Help me get a quest so I have some extra guidance. It's the opposite corner of the street you're on. Okay, of course it is. Of course it is. Go to City Hall. I feel like we're, we're talking past one another. The opposite corner of the street that you're on. This is City Hall right here. It's that simple. Thank you so much for your help. Weapons locker. Operate. Mm, I have 102 credits. What do we need here? Door wedge. Code breaker. Splint bandage. Truncheon. Hmm, ballistic armor, that shouldn't be necessary. You can also look for case boards in cafes. Okay. Tell you what. We just chill for now. Hello, unknown citizen. Have you seen or heard anything unusual? I mind my own business. Excuse me, you work for the government? I'm putting this dude down in my notebook. Noted liar. Case board. Work available for a discreet individual. Business-related concerns require investigation. Significant fee available for the right person. I gotta be honest, I'm, I think I'm the wrong person for the job there. Discreet individual, photography skills required, call 838-2040. I might be able to take some pictures. 800 though, I mean, come on. Outsource arrest required by beta enforcer decision. Handcuffs. You got to bring your own handcuffs? What in the Uber police is this, bro? Highly respectable and influential corporate client. Okay, that's not for me. Apartment for sale. <laughs> we're, not, we're not at that point yet, okay? We're not ready. Let's take the easy job. I'm doing the photograph quest. To resolve this case, provide answers to the following before plotting a route to the hand-in destination. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna need my own camera, but I think I might buy one just in case. And you know what, you always need a camera. My grandfather spending $3,100 on a video camera in 1997. People are always gonna use video. Okay, camera for 85. Yes, I would love to purchase this. Hey, hey I'm, I'm not trying to use my fists, okay? You just relax. I gotta, I gotta use your telephone real quick. 838-2040. Excuse me? The zero doesn't work? It's these old rotary phones, bro. <laughs> Hey, Jurgenstein, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I need a photograph of somebody. That should be easy. The mark's name is Ku Ching Gao. Deliver it under the door at 601 Gomez House. I'm getting this. The freaking Adams family's hiring me? Job information updated. Okay, take a photo of Ku Ching Gao. Um, I'll hang up on you. Do you have any more information? You know what we do? I remember we look in the phone book, the city directory, of course. We go to GHI. They're, they live at Gomez House as well. You need a picture of someone who lives in the same apartment building as you? 604 Gomez House, located at Gomez House. Bro wants a picture of his neighbor. <laughs> Or maybe he wants a picture of himself. Okay, in the gentleman's district. Sure, I'll, I'll plot a route. You're not a spy, you're just taking his picture? Oh yeah. <laughs> now we're cooking, bro, now we're cooking. 
Gomez House. Gomez House. Gomez House ground floor lobby. I'm in. Who are you? Unknown citizen. Link to photo and voice. This is the person who called me. Evening, what's your name? I'm not telling you. Do you know this person? Sorry, that's personal. Yeah, obviously. Hey, where, but there was another person that just left the building as well. I need to speak to them. It was you? Unknown citizen, new information. Link to photo voice. Evening, what's your name? Nothing to do with you? Could you provide your fingerprints? No, no, no. You know what? We'll just break into their apartments. I'm not even worried about it. I just need your photo, man. It's not that serious. I don't have to start throwing fisticuffs. It's not necessary. What do you got for me? Junk. Probably leave that on the ground. I'm that kind of guy. I'm probably not supposed to be in here, huh? This is a private area. My bad. Someone's going to tell me their name. What's your name? None of your business. Okay? You know what? I don't, I don't care about striking out. We try. What's your name? Keep your nose out of my business. Okay? Hang on. It's supposed to be the gentleman district, bro. What's your name? Keep your nose out of my... Okay, you know what? I'm breaking into, I'm breaking into every single one of your apartments. It's on site. First, we go down into the basement. We're going to cause the boiler to overflow, and then they're all going to evacuate, and that is going to give us... Stinky! <laughs> that is going to give us the cover we need. I have <laughs> fell through the earth, <laughs> and I'm stinky. Now i got to go back to Gomez's house, bro! No, brother. Okay, hang on. Gomez house, plot route. We go this way. Stinky and you fell through the ground? I'm just going to say it, bro. After I fall through the ground, I should have my smell removed from me. Because, like... I mean, it just seems obvious, right? I'm just going to take a, a stab at this one. Will you be mad if I just take your photo? Just put that down. It's a camera. I'm being pursued. Whoa! There's no need for all that, man! Hide, hide. Let's put this bad boy away for a sec. Can I put you on number five? There we go. I'm gonna put you on number five. She warned you? Yeah, but she also shot me. Okay. We stay low. This is this damn city. I feel like I'm finally starting to make some progress here on taking this photo, okay? How can we determine what this person, who this person is? And also, can you please plot a route to Gomez House? Thank you. Right here. I'm in. I mean, if I... Arg. You know what? I was going to say, well, well, they're down. <laughs> well, they're down, take their photo. There's 604. I thought 604 was... Um, I thought that was where we slide the, the thing. Summary of Kuching Gao. We know nothing about them. Nothing at all. Nothing. Profile 4%. Connections. Job listing is for target Kuching Gao. Oh, you slide it to 601. What would, I, what would I do without you? What would I do without you? Well, hang on. What is this? CZ battery? 
Well, I got to take that for sure. This is 101. Brother, I got to get in the walls. We got a long way to go. Okay, 601. If you'll excuse me, madam. There's an elevator. I'm not about that lifestyle. 404. Apartment not found. <laughs> fun here we have fun here there's a lot of people who live in here man seven oh my god oh i get because it, it doesn't have a fifth floor because five is an unlucky number okay 604 well 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 the gomez house huh any cameras do you have a fire alarm hmm a breaker box. It's locked. And the camera. It's simple. I know exactly what we must do. Bro, use the lock pick. They, we can't use a lock pick. It requires three lock picks. Just knock and snap a pick when he opens. Somebody's coming to answer the door. Bro, I think I freaking violated her. I didn't know she would be in her underpants. Put it, put it away, bro. Put it away. What is it? Hey, what's your name? I'm Gucci. Oh, what's it? You're a genius. <laughs> Goodbye. Ciao. Only polite person in this whole place. Okay, so this guy's a freaking perv. Maybe we should just open the door and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Sorry for the foul language. <laughs> Hello? What do you got there? You perv? You pervert? You sicko? Push him down the stairs. Talk to. Hey, what's your name? None of your business? Literally, you hired me. So whatever. Okay, 601. I need to say, said slide it under the door. Slide it under the door, okay? I have the picture. That's you right there. <laughs> I don't even like looking at it, man. <laughs> Do you have to develop the film? Oh, man. It's, it, you're right. It's the 90s, bro. No, you don't. You just need to click resolve. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was just a joke? That was not a joke. That was my real life in 1998, bro. I was going to jump the railing. I, for, I forgot. In real life, I would have done it no problem. Press control and look under the door. Oh. <laughs> and then take this and just slide. Context menu. Top right. Oh, resolve. To resolve this issue, provide answers for the following. I select. Does it not count? I don't like seeing dot, dot, dot. When I see it in my chat, it doesn't count. I guess I got to go find them. You've got to pin the photo. It's that easy. Resolve me. What would I do without you, man? Plot route to hand in. Resume. Post findings under the door. Right here. Oh! The first successful Shadows of Doubt mission in history. Okay. Now that that, that case is processing, fantastic. 
take a photo, $400 for us. It only took me a couple of bullets. Solved. I've never seen this screen before. We even got some social credit score. Excuse me? I, you know, I hate it when people, I get you're a couple, okay? You don't have to walk side by side when it's only a two-person wide thing and make me move to the side so that your love story can continue unabated. Just walk, like, in single file up the staircase, okay? It's ridiculous. Okay, I'm, I'm never coming back to this hellhole, man. No thank you, Gomez House. No thank you. By the way... Thank you to the type A chatters. I couldn't have done it without you. But now we're off to the freaking races, bro. Now we're off to the races. City Hall's right here. My two cents. We just do one more photography mission, the farm. And then maybe some kind of like CIA-sponsored political black ops. Like this one. Isn't, isn't it, I, I thought this was our $800 option. Reward of $800, I accept. 812-4297. 812-4297. And you might say it's unrealistic that you would just see the phone number once and then remember it, but that's what it was like in 1999. Once you learned a phone... Hey, what was that phone number, by the way? There it is. Once you learned a phone number, it's stuck in there. I still remember my childhood best friend's phone number. I'm not going to say it because I think that his parents still live there. I'm here about the job. Meet me at Carlson Boulevard. I'll be sitting with a cola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask about Francis. Make it sharp. Won't be here for much longer. Okay, bossy. Close this one up. Uh, this, this is important. I would like to go to Carlson Boulevard, please. Forget Gomez House. We're done with the Gomez House. Close it up. Close it up. Let this poor woman go back on with her life. I can't plot a route. I simply have to send it. I need to navigate the city. Click on the magnifying glass. If someone wanted to click on this... Oh, this... Oh. And then type in Carlson Boulevard and plot a... You geniuses, bro! Send it, send it, send it. I don't... Brother, it's freezing out here, man. I can't afford a jacket. I'm just a humble paparazzo. And you're going to be drinking a, a cola. Carlson Boulevard, drinking a cola. He's, he, brother, this guy's drinking a cola. Evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Francis? Francis? <laughs> Francis? Evening, what's your name? Do you know this person? <laughs> like, I don't want to, I want to leave Kuching Gao alone, man. Evening, what's your name? I'm not telling you. Arrest him. I just want to. I want to talk about Francis, bro. We're just making plans for Francis. He's supposed to be sitting. Oh, I told you I wouldn't be a good detective. Are you cola pilled? Is this Francis? You're not drinking a cola, you liar! Good, you may you can't take anybody seriously in this town. It's unreliable narrators. This the leads for this target are in this briefcase. Please take it. Deliver it under the door at 802 Novak House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I'm I'm freaking freezing, bro. Can I get in here? Am I allowed? I'm not trespassing. Okay, close the door, man. It's like minus 20 out there. Let me see what we got in here. Job information updated. Acquire a camera. It has been done. It's our job listing. Rose building. Unknown citizen. Is this the person we're taking a photo of? Or is this the person that we're... That gave us the job? 
not the Rose Building. Is that where we had all the all the rigmarole last time? I can't do it again. <laughs> okay, it's cold out there. We send it. You know what this reminds me of? With two, with the, I even got the back boost. Oh, I, there's no time for jokes. Okay, take me into the Rose Building. Whoops. I just took a photo of the floor. <laughs> Look at your hands. <laughs> I'm freezing, bro. Okay, so we don't know anything about this guy. We don't know anything about the, the person we're supposed to take a picture of. He's an unknown citizen. He's a, well, they are a 36-year-old adult. Scroll to the right, there might be more info. Okay, they got an A-plus blood type. First name, initial H. Lives on the seventh floor? Okay, okay. You're right. There is more information there. First name, initial H. Lives on the seventh floor of the Rose Building. You know what we do. Find a phone book. And then just... Oh, brother? Ah, maybe we could just take a photo of everybody on the top floor. Please take the elevator this time. That's not how I live my life. It's called cardio. Plus, you never know if an elevator is going to get stuck. One more floor. 701. It's locked. I'm put, I'm, who, who's, it's illegal to take photographs now? All right, Fedora. Name on the package. You guys are actually like genius detectives. Hello. <laughs> What's your name, officer? I'm Octavia Upshaw. What's it to you? Have a good night. There's no way this plan can fail, man. Everyone here is so friendly. Dude was in his house in uniform. There was some dark stuff going on in there. I don't want to belabor the point with him. What the heck is going on in here, Mr. Mime? What's your name? Nothing to do with you? Congrats. Take one of those. And then we out here. <laughs> just chill, just chill. Hey, where'd you go? Tee hee. Tee hee. Now, you, Octavia, you have no quarrel with me. You have no quarrel with me. Bro locked his door? I, he only woke up two seconds ago. Okay, let's see. What, it's, it, dude, it's process of elimination. Where's 703? 70, it's right, what, what, 701? 701, 702, 703, right there. What's your name? None of your business. Whoops. <laughs> now you're going to say, hey, NL, you're missing a step. You can't put two photos under the door. Well, what I do now, now that I got photos of both of them, I break into the apartment, find a piece of mail, and then slip the appropriate one under the, under the door. Please turn off your flashlight. So true, so true. So true, thank you. Now, how am I going to break into the apartment? 
You ever hear of something called an air vent? <laughs> oh, man. Then, just got to remember which way you're going, okay? Oh, brother. <laughs> Just got to keep your wits about you, okay? Please don't do this again. I, how could I be lost? I can only go in the direction the vents take me, man. Drop me. Hold tab. Hacker voice. I'm in. What the heck? Ah! What floor is this, bro? What? It's fine, it's fine. So we just gotta get over a little bit. And then we got a reported murder. I had nothing to do with that. New murder case, okay? I'm just saying, I know that, that you might just be telling it to me just cause I'm like a, the greatest detective of all time or whatever, but I, am, I wasn't involved in that murder. I, I just take pictures, okay? Uh, I found a wormhole to outer space. Now we're talking, bro. All right. I'm, I'm disoriented. I'm trapped in the damn shower. Okay, everybody chill, everybody chill. We're going to find some stuff in here. Anything going on? You got any mail in here? Oh, I'm trespassing. Big whoop. How, can I flush the toilet to, to cause a distraction and then knock him out? Here, turn it off. I'm in 702. Noted. <laughs> a ring. I'm just inspecting the ring. A rather expensive looking ring. Okay. How about this drawer? A, some spectacles. Vision aids worn on the face. Okay, okay. A paper clip with a note that says, LH, remember your passcode this time. A575. Well, well, well. Might as well rob him. He was rude to me in the first place. It's important, you're right. When it's important, we pin this. Now this, unknown citizen. I'd like to connect you to this. Just get out. You don't know, you don't know what you're talking about, okay? You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, first name, initial H. First name, initial. You're right. First name, initial H. <laughs> we could still rob him, though. We could still. Yeah, you're not wrong. We could still. A575. We could still rob him. What's going on in here? Please just escape. Yeah, well, maybe I'll escape after I rob. Uh, A. A. <laughs> Five, seven, five. Okay. What do you got here? Work. Leon Head, work rota. Okay, hello. This should be doable, right? It's one, five, seven, five. What are you talking about? A one, five, seven, five. <laughs> oh, that's not it either. Okay. Little tissue box, little sussy, little paper clip. We definitely don't mind that. 
sponge, duct tape, coffee machine, dirty plate. You got any paper clip? We take these. Fire extinguisher, that won't be necessary. Tinned food, no thanks. Do you hear footsteps? An address book. <laughs> A videotape. Wait, wait, city directory. I've got an idea. We go to H. First, first name H. Wait, that's not going to help me at all. <laughs> Do you live, you live in the Stringer projects? Okay. You, you want the address book. Oh, Haley from 703 Rose Building. Well, well, well. The man is a damn genius. Now, you know what you do? Cause, just because this guy was rude to me, you know what you do? Turn the light on. Any chance I could lock the door? Let's mess with him. Let's ruin his life. Flood the shower. I, I can get unstinky by standing in here, right? Or do I need to, do I need to soap my, I'm unstinky, let's go, bro. Diabolical. The files. Don't even worry about the files, brother. You got nothing to worry about. Hang on. Hang on, just gotta find a way out. I know exactly, I'm going all the way to the end. All the way to the end. <laughs> Imagine breaking into someone's house just to use their shower. If it's been a couple of days, you know, I get desperate. Brother, where the hell am I? I'm in somebody else's bathroom now. Stay low. Stay low. What do you mean it's locked? Can I just unlock it? Use the door handle? It's locked, it's locked, bro! That's how we get out. I think. I'm starting to think I'm not trapped in here with, or he's not trapped in here with me. I'm trapped in here with him, bro. Well, while we're here, I suppose I could always do a little bit of thieving. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Pardon me? mistake I, I, I guess I just don't understand why I can't just unlock the door a gun is I drop drop my battery and pick up the gun Can't, you can barge it, right? How, how does one barge a door? Shh, 
shoot the door, take the vents. I'm not doing it. Listen, we've done a perfect mission so far, okay? Lock pick? Yeah, but the, it's... I guess his strength is low. I'm incredible. Hello, gamers. And then... Close this bad boy. Unknown citizen. Let me look at my job. <coughs> Please, my job. My job. Is an archive closed? This is a resolve. The photo, okay? And then we, it'll tell us where to put it. Okay, it's easy. Look at your photos. Get this out of here. Look at the photos. Close the Rose building. Close unknown citizen. Bro, where did my photos go? I, I, had, I had two Polaroid photographs here. <laughs> you didn't pin them? So they're gone? Top left, maybe? Oh, brother. No, no, no. I, I've got a great idea. We just go back to the seventh floor. You're right, it's 703. My mistake is 703. Thank you. Worst photograph in human history just dropped. <laughs> got him. Chibli, you got to play this. This is a perfect Chibli game, man. That's, that's, that's her right there. What, you can't see her? 702 is Haley. Why are you guys lying to me? 600 credits for what? 703 was Haley, you got it? Okay, okay. Resolve. Select. Plot route to hand in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't close the case just yet. Sixth floor, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is the eighth floor, my mistake. Hello. Lunch, 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 lunch. Maybe I have to hand it in on the eighth floor. I'm, why am I lost? 802 was right. <laughs> Bro got lost on a staircase. Oh, it's a Novak building. You're right. It's the Novak building. Holy. Just follow the arrow. If you literally follow the arrow, you can't lose. You can't lose. Straight chilling. Little speed run hack for you, okay? Send it. The Novak building. By the way, while we do our uh, any percent speed run on taking a photo of somebody, Exclamation point shadows. This is Shadows of Doubt. It came out in 1.0 last year, I believe. Positive reviews on Steam. Detective Simulator. Equal parts Imsim, a.k.a. Deus Ex style. And uh, maybe a little jazz punk influence as well. A new update just came out today. The Sharpshooter Assassin. It's literally still early access. Okay, never mind that part that I said. That was satire. He is literally lying. <laughs> I don't know how to read. It's, it's, it's been apparent for a long time, but it's coming to a head now.
It's also coming to consoles later this year. I know. I know. Okay, hang on. Slide it under the door. Case submitted for processing. Please wait for results. The case remains unsolved? Does that mean I still have it? You took a photo of their spouse instead. Do I get penalized for that? Plot route, please. <laughs> you did get penalized for that. Oh, come on, man. Come on. You lose money? The label for the photo says the person, there's a person in it if it registers. Oh, man. <laughs> Why do I have a $500 fine on my head right now? Do you just hate me for being me? As if I tell you my name. Okay, whatever. You stole a gun? Yeah, but like, like they don't know that because I did it stealthily. That's why you're not in jail yet? So I have a floating indicator of like how long, how much I would be penalized if caught by the police? It's the fine if you get caught. But they don't know, they, they don't have probable cause, man. They don't, they don't know my Miranda rights. Okay, it's time for the perfect crime. Let me check something real quick. Haley is in 703. Okay, we know that. 70. <laughs> Excuse me, someone... Someone so rudely left that open. Haley's in 703. Okay, is that simple, boys? Here we go. Well, well, well. Hang on. Oh, brother. <laughs> I think she's sleeping. And her, her boy toy came to the door. And that's why we didn't get a proper picture. Why is there so much blood in this hallway? What's going on with that? She was literally not in the photo. She literally was. You just have to turn your phone brightness up. Okay, where are we at, lads? We're in 703. This is where we belong. You scared me, man. The heck is this? The fence. <laughs> it's 701. I'm in 703, man. Look, it says on the bottom of my screen, it says 703. That's your destination. Oh. <laughs> All right, perfect crime. We got to barge this, bro. But you got to look at the door frame and it'll say barge. Barge me. Close it. The perfect crime. Okay. This time it's over for you.
Not a doubt in my mind, bro. Not a doubt in my mind. <laughs> Resolve, select. Select from my board. This bad boy right here, right? Can I take a peek at this briefly? No, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Select it. Plot route the hand in, please. Go, go, go! Hang on. I'm sick of being pushed around. Police! 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 Octavia, I'm being, I'm being harangued. I'm being harangued by an angry no do-gooder. She ain't got the cardio though. She ain't got the VO2 max. Watch this. You want to see the perfect fucking crime? Well, she's gone. Elevator controls. Number seven. Hope you locked your door. Everyone chill, okay? I think she's gone crazy. She just keeps repeating that. I just need to see if there's another person in here. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm sorry, I'm a little disoriented. Because <laughs> I need to know if it's... If it's just her, bro. She's throwing fists. Octavia! Octavia! She knows. She knows it's not a gun. Run. 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 <coughs> Pardon me. You have a gun? I don't know how to use it, man! Look, why, why is he holding it like this? She's winded. Was that so hard? Hang on, hang on. One second. It's a cold world we live in. Oh my God, what happened? He was stepped right over. Does this have a person in it? <laughs> you sicko? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Just a body. I got their fingerprint. I mean, while they're here, unknown citizen. That's a that's a photo right there. I should just take that photo. Search him real quick. 
Search him real quick. Nothing. Go to her room now. No, we already, we, okay, plot route the hand in. We're ready to go. No witnesses. <laughs> How's that murder case going? Literally a problem for the police. It's not my problem. Also, she's not dead. Everyone keeps saying she's dead. She's literally unconscious. We spend a third of our life unconscious. You're going to condescend to me about my detective work? You know what? We earned it. Let's take a little cardio break. I don't want to go catabolic. You're dying of thirst? Well, I'll freaking get a drink, bro. Now that I got an apartment. This one's for you. Why, 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 why not? Why not, bro? You need to pick the picture? I, I picked the picture. Cancel pick. Select. It's this one right here. They won't let me do it, bro. Because What are you doing in there, you piece? <laughs> Select the new one instead? I didn't pin it. All I got is this decroted one that doesn't work. <laughs> you got to click resolve. Resolve. I did. I did. I did. Eight oh two, bro. Eight oh two. Hello. Resolve. Then pick the picture when prompted. Okay. Close this. Resolve. I choose this. I choose this photo. I choose this photo. They hate me. They hate me. Close case. All right, let's get to solving this murder then. <laughs> You know in your heart of hearts that we solved that, okay? You did. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Wee -oo. I didn't beat her to death. She's unconscious. Again, they're two different things. And... She was rude to me when, admittedly, she had the right to be rude to me. But me personally, I took, I took umbrage with that. Okay, take me to agency. Take me to city hall. Maybe we should get some snacks on the way. You got some food for me? Just chill, okay? Just chill. <laughs> I'm, they hate me, bro. They hate me for, for being hungry. It's a sad world out there. You killed a man? I tried to teach a man to fish, bro. So that he would never be hungry again. You got any food? Tell you what, 
We don't need this newspaper anymore. Tinned food. Select. Inspect. <laughs> Eat. Eat tinned food. Yummy. Then put it back. What else you got? Tinned food. Tinned food. Eat that up real quick. Now I'm cold. This guy is sick. What are you talking about? I need to eat. Tinned food. Actual rat behavior. I'm doing everything that I can, okay? It still says I'm hungry. The hunger never ceases, brother. This shit is not nutritious. How many cans of cat food I gotta eat to equal one human meal? You're not eating it? Look at me, I'm eating it! All right, I gotta get in a real place. I'm freezing to death. Well, 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 we meet again. And yet, it's never the same river, and it's never the same man. Yeah, sure, just, just walk right by me. Don't say excuse me or nothing. Can I speak to you? I'd like to buy something. Can I have some... Yakisoba pan, please. Added to inventory. You gonna ice this guy too? I mean, we're, right now we're gathering strength. Oh, baby. See, that's why you don't eat cat food, okay? I still got more? This is incredible. Okay. Take me back to City Hall. It's high in protein. It's no coffin bread, that's for sure. Is it yakisoba pan? Must be like a, is it a noodle sandwich. Your bro's thirsty? Whatever, I'll hit up the toilet real quick. Hang on a sec. Oh! Ho, ho! I had no idea, bro. You just put your mouth right on the spout? Okay, well, another job well done. Enforcer. Discreet individual photography skills. Highly respectable corporate client. Business-related concerns require investigation. Absolutely. What about the murder? Explore reported crime scene. You know what? Just for you. Just for you, I'll get to work on this murder case. There's nothing the police love more than when uh, a private citizen gets involved in a murder case. I don't know if you've ever seen a true crime documentary. It's always helpful. They always say thank you. Okay. And look at the, I've mastered the interface too. Watch this. 11101 Stubbs Deluxe. It's that easy. All right, literally just relax. Okay. I, oh, you're not allowed to use your shoulder to open a door anymore. But I'm not allowed to touch a door handle with my hand either. That's considered illegal. Okay. I slipped. I slipped. <laughs> I'm, I'm wet, so I fell down. Whatever. Honestly, you're never going to find me. We got plenty of time. I'll take the elevator. I heard the door. Oh, it's this one. Okay, get in there. 
me when I get in the elevator to go to floor 11 and I press the one button twice and the doors don't even close? Dubs Deluxe. Okay, okay. Excuse me, madam. Could you direct me to the murder? I know you. You're Octavia. Can I not speak to you? You want? You're not. You're not allowed to speak. We're not. We're not on speaking terms anymore. All right. I'm in. You're gonna kill me on the murder scene, brother. I'm literally. Okay, you force my hand. You force my hand. Deserved. Deserved. Okay. Okay. That's all. I didn't. I didn't have any problem with you until that moment. Please tell me that we got Delta Enforcer Division's Johannes Young Enforcer. He's got a Lazarus Five semi-automatic pistol. Look at that. We, we got a key. We got his. We got. He's an organ donor. That's going to come in handy. He lives in Novak House. It's brother, it all comes back to Novak House. Novak House is at the center of this whole thing. Okay, okay. Now I'm bleeding to death. So what we do is we go to the bathroom and I'm not a savage. I'm going to turn the lights on. We go to the medicine cabinet. What do you got in there? Dental floss, toothpaste and perfume. No, oh, okay. No first aid kit, huh? Clearly you don't have a toddler. A pencil. <clears throat> Next step, every drawer. Wasn't raised in a barn. Let's turn this on real quick. What about a, an ensuite? In the ensuite, they have the first aid kit. Files. Nothing. So what we file, nothing. So what we're empty. Y'all, I'm going to bleed to death. So what we die. <laughs> They're going to think I'm the murderer now, which is the worst part. In order to find the murderer, I might have to kill everybody that walks into this room. Oh, tin food, my favorite. I know it's not good for you. But still. Literally no. Okay, brother, I don't want to do this. Just to be clear. You're forcing my hand. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. he, he took a shot at me, man. It's literally, I don't even know how to, like, you're mad at me. It's self-defense. I trespassed. He tried to shoot me in the head. No jury in the land would convict me. We use proportionate force to defend ourselves. Okay, gamers who have played Shadows of Doubt. Is there a hospital that I could possibly attend to that could attend to my wounds? Yes. $12! There is a clinic. Yes, but nobody's ever played like you before. Really? Is it, is it a sink clinic? I'm on my way, boys. But don't worry, I'll be back to solve the crime. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. Oh, for a mo maybe some bandages. Yes, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. I guess I'll, I'll apply them. 
How about uh, you got like a splint in there? A splint, you don't say. <laughs> well, uh, we do have a problem though. <laughs> we did murder this guy. Can we hide the body maybe? I mean, no jury in the land would convict me. Wow! A lich. Okay. Well, I know what I have to do. I mean, honestly, wait, what happened to my freaking? You can just talk to him? That's the, he wouldn't talk to me in the first place. That's what started this whole thing. Evening, what's your name? None of your business. Okay. Have you, I know, I already know your name, by the way. Got any spare change? No way. You seen anything unusual? Nothing. Oh, really? What about the murder? None of your business. You gave him amnesia? None of your business. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Don't worry about all that. All right, now we can finally get some freaking work done, bro. Okay, first, take a fingerprint off the body. Hmm. Search and analyze. From examining the body, they have been slashed to death with a bladed weapon between 6 and 7, 15, 1979. It's a bit of a cold case. That's all right. Pin that. Interesting. That's interesting. Anything else? Okay. It's fine. Let's just stay pinned. Stay pinned. What about this note? That that can be unpinned now. We're not we're not sweating the pin on this one. Take the pin out. And remove the pin from that. We don't need you anymore. Sorry to say goodbye. Okay. Close, close. Who opened all this stuff up? It's ridiculous. Now, this, this is important. This caught my eye was when I was in the melee earlier. To the jerk he, who keeps standing outside my door and messing with my mail. Cut it out or I'll call the enforcers. You know who you are. EX. Mm-hmm. What about the note on the fridge? You are not being followed. It's just your mind. Take your pills. Pin that bad boy up there. Okay. Open and shut case. The cop killed him. How about... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what you got to do? Fingerprint scanner. Right there. Fingerprint type D belongs to, we don't know. But can I get a fingerprint scan off of you? Yes, I can. Fingerprint, what, what's, what's your fingerprint, bro? Fingerprint, yes. Type D, open and shut case. This man lived in his own apartment. How about this note? Work Rota. Elliot Zoo Work Rota, company director. 
9 to 5, Monday to Friday. Okay, but where? Bro forgot he was the company director. <laughs> he needed to have a post-it note on his, on his cupboard to tell him he's the, the president. He forgot he's him. I'm not a murderer, by the way. The, po the police officer's totally fine. Let's take a seat at the micro cruncher. Let's learn a little bit about them. I'll be uh, Elliot Zoo. Okay, okay, okay. I wasn't familiar with your game, Elliot. I wasn't familiar with your game. That's my mistake. Dear Elliot, I got your note. Sorry, but I can't hand over surveillance footage to anyone who asks. I ain't seen no tall female stalking around, though. If you got any real concerns, put in a form 59.3D to my office. Oh, perhaps some footage from the building might come in handy. Password? Diary. Wednesday, outside Pickett Heights for three blocks. Large, tall, long. Definitely same person. Tuesday, nothing. Monday, outside works, work for two blocks. Large, young adult, I think. Close it up. A pipe. Nothing. Okay, okay. Paranoid delusions. Delete his browser history. <laughs> It's the bro code. Dude, I need your password so I can delete your, your browser history. Moths every day. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps assorted books. Perhaps a secret, a secret code. A calendar. Anything special? Mm. Nothing to live for. Write that down. Nothing to live for. Brother, I need your passwords. Crimson Corporation. Oh, the Crimson Corporation. An a he's asthmatic. Understood and understandable. Oh, a key, acquired key for your house. Let's inspect this, very satisfying. Employment agreement. Bro's getting paid 200,000 credits per annum. What is that, like 1.2 billion credits a year or something? Whatever, whatever, signed Ellie is, okay, fair enough. This is your employment contract, fair enough. From the desk of Lydia Balhog, MD. Elliot Zhu, beta blockers, high blood pressure, insulin. I'm in his damn walls, bro. Tenancy agreement. Emily Pisek. Okay, you get all that? I don't think I need to know that. Holy cow, his bank statement. Anything suspicious in here? Mm. That looks pretty normal to me. Looks pretty normal to me. Bro's balling out of control. 16,000 credits. Rent came out at 604. Holy cow. Seems, seems fine to me. And that's it. That's a certificate. His birth certificate. Holy. Bro only weighed six pounds. No wonder he's fucking dead. I mean, I'm, I'm like literally 30 times your weight, bro. Holy. <laughs> Surprised he lived this long. 
<laughs> Grogu built. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, dude. What you got for me? A hammer? Bro, I need your passwords. His birthday could be the password. You genius. You genius. 9943. Whoops. Son of a gun. Boomers when the website says don't use something obvious like a pet's name. I know. <laughs> I'll use the I'll use my birthday. And then write it down, even though it's my birthday, write it down on a post-it note and put it on the monitor. How I Got Rich on the Way Up by Tanner Indigo. Wait, wait, whoa, oh, work ID. <laughs> six, six pounds is throwing me, man. Oh, his wallet. Take his money, take a key. Oh, don't mind if I do. This this detective stuff is starting to pay off, man. Where's your phone, Elliot? Elliot. What you got there? Any, anything going on in your city directory? Anything going on in your address book? Hmm. Perhaps we'll make a quick call to... Uh, Mm, okay. Maybe I'll just try 10,000 different passwords. Yoink. There was one more drawer next to the bed. Ah! And they say crime fighting doesn't pay. Past caller ID. You genius. They should be, there should be a detective who is uh, a Twitch chatter. Or like not a chatter, a Twitch streamer. So they stream like them solving the murder POV and then they like get suggestions from chat. Hey, have you tried calling the husband? Yeah, I called the husband, bro. He's the first person we called. Obviously, what are you talking about? Call the husband. Hang on, I gotta take a little sip. Hang on, you got, you got anything to drink in here? Literally just alcoholic beverages. They're dehydrating. They make you thirstier. Okay, hang on. We, we gotta dump some stuff. I need a bigger inventory, bro. D I mean, I guess that's the constraint. You take this. Can I get some fingerprint scanning on, on some of this stuff? Like the knives, for example, that are, that are found close to his body. Type E. Oh! Perhaps belongs to the murderer or myself. What do you got over here, punk? Fingerprint of Elliot Zoo. Weird coincidence. Oh, who took the cookies from the cookie jar? Piers Elliot took the cookies from the cookie jar. <laughs> Check the door. I can't open it. The police officer will murder me. Okay, hang on. We got a quick telephone call. Identify, I would like to call the last person who called me. An enforcer dispatch unit will be sent to your location immediately. Don't. 
All right. Um, let's go fast. Telephone number 412-1574. 412 Bro, come on. Nothing? No dial tones or anything? That's your number? How could that be how could that be my phone number, bro? Isn't this my oh it is my phone. Yeah. <laughs> how about this one? Unable to get last caller's information. Guys, let, let me on the computer. Go to his office. Hang on one moment. He's too good. He's too good. He can't be beaten. <laughs> his OPSEC is crazy. Try 1101. It's his apartment number. 1101. How about 1574? Is that some Don Quixote stuff? 5401? Nice try, nice try. <laughs> Note to self, he loves Scott. His OPSEC is out of control. You know what? There's no other option. I know what we got to do. We got to go to his office, bro. The office is here. <laughs> Give me some info, bro. Oh, go to his mailbox. Great idea. Type F fingerprint. The plot freaking thickens. Okay, one moment, one moment. Where are we at? The heck is this? I shouldn't be allowed to go in there. So, am I still in an apartment building? Four oh one. Where are you going? I'm going to the mailbox. Crimson Corp was on the eighth floor. What? It says it's, uh, well, how do you know that? How do you know that? Okay, mailboxes. <coughs> 1101. 11, 1102. Ooh. 1103, 1101, fingerprint scanner. Nothing. Well, I never had a choice. Curious. Not a single fingerprint. Hmm. Hmm. Note to self, the criminal is wearing gloves. Okay, Crimson Corp on the eighth floor. Please use the elevator. I'm actually faster on the stairs is, is one of the things that's great. Wait, wait, isn't this my security camera room? Hang on a second.
Wow! <laughs> Woo, nice try! Oh, no. Oh, oh, God. Hang on for a second. Uh, bandage me, please. Your inventory's full. Okay. I'm chilling, bro. I'm still a little thirsty, though. Alright, now you made it in. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I'm no longer dying of thirst. <laughs> Lock it, please. Lock the door. Please don't tell me I turned it off and now I need the password. Oh no, I mean, management admin. Select user management, oh brother. <laughs> He's gonna be back soon, man. He's gonna be back soon. Employee D. Ian Howell. Note to self, Ian Howell. Too quiet. Always conversing about sports. Okay, make up your mind. Resident roster. This is everything, bro. Flick it. Elliot Zoo. We already knew all this stuff, man. Okay, get me out of here. <laughs> thought there was going to be something <laughs> juicy in there. Hello, Crimson Corporation? Hello? Ah, yes, the public bathrooms. Hmm, and what nice ventilation they have. By the way, thank you again to Fireshine Games. Oh, baby. This is Shadows of Doubt. I'm having a great time. Exclamation point shadows to learn more about it for yourself. <coughs> An air vent saved my life. So true. Dee 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 You think I don't know Radiohead? Not just Radiohead. You think I don't know OK Computer? Come on. I'm born again, brother. Me telling my friend my favorite song on OK Computer is Subterranean Homesick Alien and everyone looks at me like, you know, my face just turned upside down. The thing is, he couldn't see me because I was angling to get into his blind spot. Yo, 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 what's that, though? He, he's looking at me. Literally, the company director's dead. You got bigger problems. Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> A 
another dice, huh? Oh, a note to all employees. The door code to my office has been reset to 5474. Hang on. A tall lady. Perhaps. No. Okay, these are these are employees. Perhaps a tall lady. Understandable. The slender lady, the young adult, excuse me, close me up. You're you're interesting to me here. Kiva Jansen, Kiva Jansen. The architect and the builder arrive calmly with a sense of purpose. Five, four, seven, four. You ready? Ooh. Hold. We're in the back rooms, bro. And then you know that dude was not remembering every password. Oh! Yeah, yeah. I, uh, try, he, he's not going to be using it. <laughs> so I think, I think we will be taking his diamond, actually. Yoink. Tobacco. A sharpener. No, thank you. I don't know why I'm so fixated on just robbing the dude, but. Dude, somehow, I, I'm not trying to say that he screwed up his life, but he is dead. Um, bro literally works from home and still has a commute. How do you mess up that bad? Like, that's just, that's nutty, bro. Elliot, Zoo, thank you, 5474, four, I'm in. Let me look at his uh, surveillance. From his diary. Wednesday outside Pickett Heights, Tuesday, Monday outside work for two blocks. We don't have that. We don't have access to the outside. What was that? What was what? Oh, the beeping? You know what? Print this shit out. I'm going to waste all your color ink. You print that shit out immediately. Read his emails? Oh, you don't even worry about it. His life belongs to me right now. Hang on, let me look at the security. Let me see outdoors, please. I don't have it. Okay. Camera's off. Alarm's off. I run the show now. Check out your V-mail. Hello? Wasn't me. Receiver rel noun. You should lay off the starch. It makes you jumpy. Did you come by my apartment earlier? Starch breakfast. You have a match. Who's, who's our match? They can't tell us. Blank admits to having a terrible sense of smell and is eager to meet you. Missing footwear. You have a match. <laughs> Top quality fish. Hi, Marjani. I'm just going to lay it out. Yeah, I saw we matched on V-Love last night. Yes, I think it's a cruncher error. Let's just m never mention this again, shall we? The images in particular. Marjani. Okay, Marjani. Marjani. Can I see your profile real quick? Ooh, I, got every, I got 21 out of 23 on this dude. Literally, his password stored in plain text, bro. You know I'm going to leave your shit logged in, too. How do you feel about that? You got a light switch in this? You got a light switch in here? Check the employee database. Oh, motherfucker. Dude. What? What's your problem? Oh, my God. Okay, they're taking, just relax. 
Just go to security. Off, bro. Jeez. What's their problem? got to cycle the area. Oh, cuz I'm in the I'm in the back rooms. Huge. Thank you chat. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Getting pretty close to paying off my fine. Stop me. What do you mean it's locked? I'm I'm in the walls, bro. Let me out. Who's Marjani? You're absolutely right. She's probably she's probably our culprit. Hello. Mm. The perfect crime has never been committed. Five, four, seven, four. I literally own your life. Same email inbox. Same profile, okay? <laughs> How about in here? Oh! Ambassador scheme. Dude, these are, these are mods that we can install in ourselves. Gain a passive income of 10 credits every two hours or gain $50 by installing data mining software on crunchers. I mean, obviously we dump. I'm not gonna dump my diamond, but I would easily, easily Eat yakisoba pan. I mean, that's a given. Maybe chuck it in here. Put some ants on his shit. Grab that. What about, we don't even know what this one is, but we'll take it. I need to speak to Marjani. Marjani? Marjani? That's it, you piece. I'm putting the whole system on trial. 904 Gomez House, 1553157. I don't remember your number. That might be prank calling somebody here. One second. <laughs> what did I, what did I, what's your number, Marjani? I got too much stuff open. Marjani, one five five three one five seven one five five three one five seven one five five three one five seven. I'm calling you. How do you answer for your crimes? How convenient. They're not home. Yeah, I wouldn't answer the phone either if I just killed somebody. No voicemail? Well, it sounds like we're taking a visit. Sounds like we'll be making a little visit to Marjani's house at 904 Gomez Avenue. We're yoinking? Okay. Forgot. Okay, you just go, go, go. Bro called the murderer from the victim's house. You gotta imagine that would really like mess her up a little bit, though. The 
Like she'd be freaking out a little bit. 202, okay. If you get her fingerprints, she's busted. Guaranteed. I even hit her with the hero landing. Bro, my fine disappeared. I've been pardoned of my crimes. Because you didn't get caught. Oh, go sell the diamond. Yeah, I'm not gonna sell it. That belonged to a friend of mine. I don't know why it sounds like a Sun Kill Moon song title. Sell one more floor. One more floor. There's also a clinic to install those discs downstairs. Ooh, one more floor, one more floor. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, a sussy sandwich outside. This is just to intimidate her when we knock on the door. So first we put it down. Somebody's coming to visit us, okay? We gotta play it cool, okay? I, what I talk, she's gonna see me, she's gonna fold under pressure. That's 902, it's the wrong one. You sure about that? What's your name? I'm Nahia Dominguez, why? Have a good night. Sorry to bother you. Oh. <laughs> Literally mind your own business, Nadia. She's not guilty. That fucks up my whole case, man. I really need her to be guilty. <laughs> it's okay, you can still frame her. Hello, I'd like to speak to you. Oh! I know what to do, I know what to do. Steal something from here and plant it on the body. Can you do that? Is that doable? So I'm gonna wait for her to go back in and then once the door is closed, I'm going to knock and be like, hello, can I speak to you? Hello. Marjani Okoro. Huh, what's your name? I'm not telling you that. Oh, really? Nice try, Marjani. Have you seen anything unusual? Think I'd tell you if I had? Okay, Marjani. You know this person? Elliot Zhu? Yeah, that's my colleague, Elliot Zhu. He's actually your boss. Hey, they work at that place, Crimson Corporation. Hey, what about, what, 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 what about that time that you um, matched? What about that time that you matched on V-Love? Could you provide your fingerprints for an investigation? Not a chance? All right, you're arrested. You're being arrested for murder. Yeah, right. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break into your house. And I'm going to get a knife out of your... It's one floor up. 
I'm gonna get a knife out of your kitchen. I'm gonna render you unconscious with it. And then I'm gonna plant your blood on the scene of the crime. Close the door, close the door. She's got a damn turret in this. Oh, open, open the shit, bro! Starch candy, you shouldn't eat that stuff, it's bad for you. No knives? No knives, no knives in the kitchen. Oh, no. Never mind. I'm gonna drop my fists. You know what? I don't need my camera anymore. Head of HR. Your colleague? He's your boss. Show some respect. Okay, now we got time. Dude, the jerky keeps standing outside my door messing with my mail. Cut it out or I'll call the enforcers. This note was also at Elliot's place, bro. The dude that you was hanging with. She must have Xeroxed it and put it up on her own pin board. You just killed her? She's a murderer. Spare me. Hang on, turn the lights on. I'll tell you one thing for certain, the computers are central to all of this. Turn that bad boy on, I'll probably take that key real quick. Just think. I, don't, I don't ever wanna be locked out again. I'm not gonna steal her birth control pills. Like I might be fucked up, but I'm not that fucked up. She's entitled to safe contraception however she chooses. Okay, business card, let's pin that to there. Now your password, it said count backwards from four. <laughs> Very subtle. I, I own you now, Marjana. You work for me. Let me see your email real quick. Please help. Dear Marjani, thank you for your note. You may be suffering from mild paranoia. Uh-oh. Uh, with hair. <laughs> A secret admirer? I've, be, I'm, I've been stalked. You have a match. It's Elliot. Rumbled. Book return. Attention all employee. Cornubia. <laughs> All right, well, honestly, I, got, I hate to say it. I think she's innocent, bro. Killer's a bald male in his 30s with glasses. I'm in your walls. I could literally do whatever I want. What are you going to do? <laughs> you are not being followed. It's just your mind. Take the pills. Maybe, maybe you guys were like, you're having like a fling or something like that. And I've just completely misrepresented the whole situation. In which case, I apologize for all the, all the stabbing. There you go. Go, Marjani, live your life again. <laughs> go live your life. You're free, Marjani. Didn't you have a key? Oh, yeah. Well, that should, it's a quick fix. That's what YouTube's for. She's the next victim? Well, it sounds like she should help me find the freaking killer, bro. <laughs> Go talk to the doctor. The doctor. The 
Doctor. Yeah. You stole her key? Yeah. I basically, I, I, I not only purloined it, but it basically it kind of gaslit her as well. Because I'm sure that she's going to be like, my key was right here. And then when she brings it up to me, I'm going to be like, you've been losing a lot of stuff lately. Okay, let me see. Marjani. Rename. <laughs> no, I was going to say innocent person. Rosemary, that's a laundromat. My sink clinic, bro! Let me in. I'd like to get in the bed. Give me ambassador scheme passive income, please. Give me two credits for each item of traf trash disposed in refuse containers or six dollars for each unique book read. Bro, give me the give me the bookworm, bro. I did say traff. It's 2.15, you can't be mad at me? Me after listening to one audiobook while I sleep? <gasps> Nobody's allowed in here. That being said, here, I'm trespassing by going to the bathroom. What is this, Europe? Oh, looks like, honestly, no disrespect, I own you. Should You should definitely, like, control, shift, escape this before you leave for lunch. Kill him? He's the next target for sure. How's your V-mail? Please be an email that's like, I shouldn't have murdered all those people. Hi, beautiful, think you maybe might be able to skip out and meet me at lunch? Who's that to? Wei Mao? This is a very important message to say, I can't stop thinking about you. Oh no, he was drunk. He was drunk emailing. Where do you want to go on our anniversary together? Hi, honey bunny, don't forget. To whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Leia Lewandowski, he's married to Wei Mao, bro. Also, this bro, I mean, he's crazy on the emails. Just relax. For your own good. Well, first off, I own every employee in the database. Whatever. Life's too short for that. <laughs> it's a HIPAA violation. Of this floor noodles. Whoops. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want some? <laughs> GTA gameplay when I was twelve. Dude, the, the Tom Scott GTA 4 playthrough with the traffic speed cranked up to 1,000% is so funny. Another murder at the same house? <laughs> Sorry, Tom Walker, not Tom Scott. Thank you, thank you. The, the clip where he says, uh, that was you. <laughs> the clip where he's like, I'm just gonna go over here, and then he's like, he gets flung out of his own car, and then flies through the air horizontally for like 500 feet, and then smashes into a half wall and dies. And he's like, actually, I'll die. I'll die by slamming against a wall that you should really only stub your toe on. And then immediately upon respawning, he explodes. Because <laughs> then I'm gonna explode. It's it's so good. Okay, hang on. 
I guess I'll go to 904 Gomez house real quick. We are, we are at the end here, but I'm having a great time. Shadows of Doubt, exclamation point shadows. Available now on Steam later this year on consoles. I think we showed it's possible for an old dog to learn new tricks. Thanks again to Fireshine Games for the sponsorship. I can't speak English. Fireshine Games for the sponsorship. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the new update as well. The Shadow Assassin. The Sharpshooter Assassin update. Get this man a sandwich. Brother, that's what the floor noodles are for. Oh, it's just the box. What the heck? Okay. Any vents in this? Hold. Hold. <laughs> Fish and chips and sussy vinegar and vinegar. V <laughs> Locked? Brother, I have the key. I have the key. Oh, I can just do it. Collect a case resolution form from City Hall. Brother, the murderer is still here. I knew it. Nice try, nice try. You're under arrest. Oh! Two murderers? One for one. One for one. <laughs> Oh, man. I traded. He's one tapped. He's one tapped. Rush him. Rush him. Grab his, grab his self revive. Okay, this has been Shadows of Doubt. I had a, I had a great time. I think we, we did better this time. Honestly, we did better. I'm going to slash marker it. Shadows of Doubt. And I will send you over to my wife's stream. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of your evening. I think I will play Shadows of Doubt again. I want to solve a case for real and not just with a creep shot like we did the, in the first one today. Again, Shadows of Doubt, exclamation point, Shadows. I'll give you a link. You can check it out on Steam. Consoles later this year. New update just came out today. There ain't nothing like it. I'll see you next time.